Anyway, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to another hardcore stream. Can the stream thing actually work for today? I do not know. But anyway, hope you guys are doing pretty nice. Uh, so far, last stream I already did the, uh, my god, my brain's already getting, to, getting completely destroyed. We set up our Enderman farm, so everything is hopefully going to be pretty much good from here on out when it comes to XP grinding, hopefully. Um, since I still haven't finished off, like, a lot of, like, the, uh, quality of life features for the Enderman farm, we might want to do that for today's stream, I'm not too really sure. But pretty much, like, the rest of the week, in terms of, like, streams will be dedicated towards, hopefully, getting some sort of, like, creeper farm, or setup of, like, a creeper farm, like, uh, all set up, I guess, by... Yeah, hopefully by the end of this week. I am rambling, I cannot speak anymore. My brain is also pretty much dead. But anyway, hope you guys are doing pretty nice. Sodium, Marco, Razor Misfit, and the gaming. My brain is unfortunately completely fried and I do not know why. But anyway, time to do some more hardcore stuff. Is the mic even like in the good position? I have no idea. But anyway, time to do some more hardcore stuff as always, because we always do the hardcore stuff, even though this is a new world or whatever like that. But anyway, I actually have no idea where do we go from like, <laughs> excuse me. From like this point here, so far I do need to do a lot of terraforming stuff in the overworld because in the spawn region is where we want to put the creeper farm. So that will be something that we'll be doing as a bit of a side quest sort of thing. Um, but we also need to do like a lot of like uh, quality of life modifications to make sure that we don't have to deal with like I don't know like pearls being an absolute issue when it comes to like killing these like endermen over here so we'll definitely need to find a way to like uh, do a proper like ender pearl collection system over here as well um i guess we should do that first because i would need like a lot of like um enchanted shovels for like uh, digging up stuff in the spawn region but i at the same time i also don't really mind like just starting off in like the uh overworld in the first bit of the stream but eh. I might as well, like, finish off, like, a little... Actually, I don't have enough iron, though. So I can't really put up, put up like, a hopper system just yet. So, yeah, that's gonna be a little bit of a trouble, isn't it? <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit troubling. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things we still need to, like, figure out. Um, we don't actually have, uh, a lot of mending books, or any mending books. I don't think I actually kept any mending books from, like, uh... Uh, from anywhere else, unless I used all the mending books. I think I used up all the mending books, so we need to quickly get some more mending and uh, add them to some of our tools, and then we'll continue on in the overworld doing some, like, terraforming stuff, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't go horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, when did we build this? Like, last stream yesterday, so that's how old this entire build, or <laughs> this farm has been. It was literally completed, like, uh, last stream, which is really, really nice, though, because everything is uh, working perfectly-ish. As long as uh, we don't accidentally throw, like, stuff into the void, because we do not have a proper, like, disposal system for, like, ender pearls yet. Uh, but we'll probably figure that out later on. Anyway, how you doing, by the way, Razor? Hope you're doing pretty nice so far. Uh, I'm gonna dump all the endstone stuff over here for the meantime. All the shulker boxes, except for this, is empty, so... We'll probably store the coal into, like, a separate part of our inventory or something like that. I have no idea where it should go. Alright. We have a lot of, like, uh, inventory management we also need to deal with as well, so we need to quickly go back to the overworld, get ourselves some more mending books and whatnot, because I actually don't know if I have any spare books left. But there's only one way to find out, I guess. And then when we get, once we get that sorted out, we also need to, um, pretty much just terraform a little bit of, like, the overworld and make sure we get, like, the area ready for a few more farm builds in the, uh, spawn region. Hopefully nothing goes horribly, horribly wrong while we're all doing all of that. Oh boy, it's nighttime. That's a great start. <laughs> That's a very good start already. Oh boy. Anyway. Appreciate the stretch, by the way, Paul. Really need to find a way to, like, uh, probably cool down a little bit on the uh, stretch and, like, stay hydrated redemptions. Because I feel like Paul has just been the only one redeeming it. But oh well, appreciate it, though. Alright, only 44 pieces of sugarcane. Our fireworks supply is not great, but not completely terrible either, so I think we could live with that. I do need some black ink in order to, like, uh, dye some of the, uh, shulker boxes, so we can use one shulker box as a dedicated sort of, um, coal thing. I, I don't know how to describe stuff. God, I also really need to, like, uh, figure out how to get another trident again. I mean, I know some tactics and, uh, Grinding is like a lot of like a drown to like get a trident in some way, but it's again It's gonna be grindy as heck So hopefully nothing goes horribly horribly wrong while doing all of that do not blow and it blow up the freaking blade gunpowder I'm so good at this game as always. Oh boy 
Mm -mm, 30%. So I saw another one over there. I need some more gunpowder, you know. Thank you. And I get absolutely nothing. Thank you very much, Looting 3. Thank you very much for that indeed. Anyway, doesn't really matter because we have like one shulker box now dedicated towards coal. Um, let's just quickly <clears throat> put this in the ender chest before I forget. At least the sugarcane uh, sugar farm is somewhat working, so that's pretty good for us. Mm -mm -mm. Put this somewhere over here, because why not? Alright. Looks to be pretty much uh, all good around through here. I don't want to use up all the shulker boxes over here for, like, storing, like, all the terraform blocks and whatnot, so I should probably store that somewhere else. Alright, so, um, okay, so we have a lot of things we need to do. I probably would need, like, a book and quill. Honestly, in order to like keep track on what are our main stuff that we still need to do in this hardcore world So that way I don't forget like any major details and whatnot. So yeah, that would probably very uh, be very ideal when it comes to like uh, Setting stuff for like the sort of end game process of building farms and grinding the frick out of your own world I guess is there even any sort of spare Books or paper that I left uh, behind over here that would be very convenient if I uh, did that already, but I highly doubt that is the case here. Probably is like another village nearby that I haven't looted, so we can just probably go in this direction and see if there's anything over here. Now uh, ruin portal again. I swear to God, we get like two enchanted golden apples again. I'm gonna be so freaking mad. Anyway, how you doing, by the way, Crivo? Hope you're doing pretty nice so far, mate. Hope you're doing pretty nice so far. Yeah, I think I already looted that one because that it seems pretty uh, bare. All right, let's see what this village over here has to offer. There's a lot of mountainous terrain, though. I don't know; if these are potential sites for like, uh, like an ancient city to be like, um, yeah, like an ancient city to like uh, spawn in or something like that. Because I don't know if that's really mountainous enough to like really generate one. Then again, I have no idea what the rules are for like generating um, <laughs> something like that. Anyway, so we'll see. We'll see if we can uh, find an ancient city nearby. That'll be very nice for all of us. Just a random like zombie over there just vibing. Don't think there is a cartographer here. Unless there's someone with like some paper here. I don't think there is. Oh well, that's this village is almost completely useless. Almost because I got like two emeralds out of it, because I need to steal some emeralds, but still. Alright, let's take a look around through here. These are really nice mountainous terrain though. Nice like sort of meadows right over here. Looks really, really nice. God, how much, how much like meadow areas are gonna be like occupying this area? This is a, this is a pretty nice, pretty nice, but also very very uh, wacky to um, also try and build in. But then again, it's actually not too whack. There's a lot of nice flat portions around through here, and also we have a nice stay hydrated redemption. So always stay hydrated. Thank you, La Gaming. Mm. Ah, stay hydrated. I don't have like my. What's the word? Like a sippy cup, sort of like water ball. So I have like a nice sort of, uh, sort of like straw thing that I can drink out of. It's a nice sort of like uh, water bottle. All right, where is the boy? There it is. Useless. Blast protection four. Are you kidding? I mean, not blast protection four. It's like three or something. Whatever. Useless. I don't care about that. Anyway, pigeon. How you doing, by the way, pigeon? Hope your day's been doing all right. Jesus Christ! What the hell is this terrain? But anyway, hope you're doing pretty nice so far, Pigeon. Hope you're doing pretty well. Uh, okay. I'm trying to look for at least a freaking village. Unless I can go- Unless I can go back to, um, to, uh, the freaking lay, like, a forward operating base we had on this world. It, there could be some books I left behind. But if I- if there was, I would have been able to, like, grab them for uh, us to move all our enchantment stuff to the end. And I apparently did not grab any. So that is not a good sign that we have any books left for us to grab back in our um, old base, so I guess we'll just have to keep searching for more villages, which is the one thing that I <laughs> did not expect to be looking for to for uh, today's stream, I guess. Looking for for today's stream. I cannot speak properly anymore. My brain is going to die. You should make a full base on a mountain? Eh, really depends, honestly. I did build like a mountain base for like my first... Um, I think like hardcore worlds um, for like this entire like series and stuff like that, but it didn't really go very well in some ways. So I'm not too really sure if I want to go for that sort of uh, route again. 
I don't see... I don't think there is any, like, um... I mean, you're a librarian. And I have, like, Silk Touch over here, so I could steal some books. I mean, I don't I don't want to use Silk Touch. I want to use, like, Fortune, so... Thank you very much. I think we got, I think we got all the stuff we need now, so that's pretty good. So we have a nice sort of like book and quill for us to utilize, but I'll keep two books over here because we need some spare books anyway. Oh boy, we really need to find a way to like get some books around here. Also, why are you trapped? Wh wh why are you stuck over there? You really are really weird. Actually, you're no, you're not even trapped. You're just you just want to stay inside this stupid hay bale. What the frick is wrong with you anyway? I'm just gonna let that guy be, because apparently he's satisfied enough to be living in this sort of space for all eternity, I guess. I, I'm not gonna judge him, I'm just gonna let him do his own thing, I guess. Alright, anyway. Let's, we got, like, a nice sort of book and quill that we can use. Um, oh, we only can, like... Okay, I, I was wanting to, like, uh, fly along and write down stuff, but apparently the game says, nah. You have to, pu you have to stay still. If you wanted to write down stuff, so that's uh, pretty fair then, I guess. Anyway, we we have a to-do list that we need to do here. Also, how you doing, by the way, uh, Luke's, or Lucas? Hope you're doing pretty nice. Just woke up. Hope you have a pretty nice morning then. How was your two-week break, this pigeon? My two-week break was pretty alright. Also, I got confused with you and another YouTuber who does hardcore and is a fox as carrots. I wonder who that is, but I actually am pretty curious who the heck that would be. Because that would be pretty interesting to know who that is anyway. But anyway, I hope you're doing pretty nice so far, Carrots. But yeah, my two-week break was pretty nice. Able to, like, refresh my brain a little bit and get back to work a little bit, so that's pretty nice. So anyway, uh, we need to add quality of life stuff to the Enderman farm. That's... Yeah, I really don't like the layout of, of like, the freaking blade text a little bit. I don't know why. So yeah, we need to lay out a little bit more to, um, features. How about we add, like... Uh, features for Enderman Farm. There we go. So we need to add some quality of life features for the Enderman Farm. We need to uh, terraform the frick out of the spawn region for stuff. And then we also need to like uh, set up a creeper farm for gunpowder. And also we probably also need to make better sugarcane. Good enough. This is a good enough to-do list. So we have like a lot of stuff we would probably need to do for today's stream, I guess. Um, I probably would not add the quality of life stuff yet because we still do not have an iron farm. So we'll probably like do that in like another stream in the future. Um, farm. Yeah, we need to make a bigger sugarcane farm. We need to make up a nice creeper farm that is both beefy and also very, you know, safe in some ways. So there's a lot of stuff we would probably need to deal with that. And then we also need to... Uh, and we need to set up an iron farm right next to spawn so that way we have an unlimited amount of iron that is a lot of <laughs> this is going to be painful honestly there's a lot of stuff we will need to do for like uh the next few streams i guess but hey at least we have something we can do for some time compared to like me doing nothing but like netherrack placing and glass placing for like uh my season six hardcore world that was that was really painful so at least we have something we can do for this i guess so anyway Time to get some work done, I would say. We'd still- we'll probably need to start off with, like, a little bit of terraforming anyway. I- there's, like, a freaking large-ass, like, forest nearby that is really, really whack, so... That's a good way we can start off for today's stream, is just do a lot of terraforming stuff, clean up some areas, and, uh, just, you know, prep the entire swamp region for a crap ton of stuff that we want to do. So, hopefully nothing goes terribly- terribly, terribly wrong. I cannot speak properly, holy Jesus. Anyway, should I say your username? When did you start streaming? Because I want to know if one year, 11 months makes me an OG. I mean, I started streaming in 2017, and technically anyone who's over, like, two, like, uh, years in, like, followage is technically an OG. Because that's the length of, like, the hardcore world of Season 6, so anyone who starts... Jesus Christ. Um, from the beginning of Season 6 is technically already an OG. Such as EJP, who has been subscribed for 33, 33 months. Jesus. Anyway, appreciate that, EJP, for the 33 months. Did I hear OG? Yep. De definitely true OG. I mean, EJ EJP is the true OG, as always. N no one can ever match your EJP's power in some ways. Um, anyway. Uh, Lastify says, Hey, Fox. God, you advanced so fast. I mean, in a matter of, like, 
a week or so of like streaming, we managed to like get towards day 100 of 100 with like almost full netherite, so that's pretty pog. Um, but yeah, I hope you're doing pretty nice so far at Lastify. Why can I not speak properly? Holy frick, I keep catching myself like uh, stuttering quite badly. Ugh. Anyway, we're gonna do a lot of terraforming stuff. I also need to get some more mending books so I can add like uh, mending to these things, so before I forget about that. I'll uh, quickly deal with that. Um, I'm actually going to quickly grab some paper, actually. So I can put that into the um, choker box where I would store all of our fireworks. Why is my brain almost going to die every single time I try and like speak words down of my mouth? I hate that. I hate that so much. Alright, anyway. You go over there. Emeralds can go over here, I guess. Do -do -do. We'll grab those later on anyway. God, this is almost going to be a mess in terms of, like, organizing. I mean, the, at least my inventory looks very close to, like, um, how it was back in Season 6. So I kind of am, like, happy about that. Um, we'll definitely would need to clean some stuff up, though, in the future. Uh, got told today I have a presentation for tomorrow, so I'm not doing my best. Group Project 2 and other guy isn't, isn't responding to my messages. Welcome to Group Projects, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Where you cannot rely on literally anybody, unless you're able to be with a, like, a group that you can rely on. Why is there so many gas here? Why is it like, once I'm in the end game, is the year, or not the year, the time, or I mean technically it is also the year, but it's also the time where like, uh, the game says, you know what? I, I think you don't have enough gas or like, airborne, like, um, enemies that you need to deal with. It's time for us to spawn them in, like, 500 fold, because why not? Why not? Let's give you more enemies to, like, deal with in both, like, three dimensions, you know? Three dimensions of, like, mobs. I also need to get some gas tears, but I have no idea if, like, they drop some or not, because some of them just fell straight into lava. Which is not great, you know? And I don't think there is anything left, so I am sad. I only got, like, three, <laughs> three tears and three gunpowder, which is not helpful. Oh, well. Ow! Freaking blade floating pieces of soul sand pieces of shite. Okay, anyway. So, uh, what we need to do is go back towards our forward operating base. I- okay, I really need to remind myself to do this. This is why I have the freaking to-do book. We need to go and break the- oh my god, my freaking spacing here is terrible. Um, terraform, spawn, region for stuff. There we go. Alright. Break through nether roof. Or, through- Break nether roof. Boom. Okay, we need to quickly do this, or else I'm gonna lose my sanity traveling through this bloody, like, nether terrain of some kind. And I completely canceled the entire thing. Oh my god. Okay, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that's one thing I, I should probably, like, uh, do for today's stream, is to actually break through, like, the nether roof. Um... Yeah, breaking. Or else we're all gonna be, like, suffering with having to travel all over the place and perish, I guess. Yeah, perfect writing, I know. So, we need to go and break the, um, parts on the nether roof, but I would need to figure out where all the, um, all the, uh, portal locations are, or else I'm gonna get very lost, uh, very fast. So, without further ado, I guess, I'm gonna see if I can try and get back to our forward operating base, and figure out all the coordinates of all the portals I placed down. Because if I don't, I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. So, the, uh, forward operating base, where the bloody hell is it, oh my god, is around... My brain hurts, my brain hurts, where is my freaking portal? There it is. It's a negative 500, positive 600, so we have to head in this direction. Pass through over here, is there a gap through here? I cannot tell. This looks more like death than uh, anything else, to be honest. Anyway, we have to head over in this direction. Uh, never mind, that's the wrong direct- okay, this is going great. This is already going great, ladies and gentlemen. Are you guys having a fun time watching a fox boy get lost in the nether? And this is why I really wish I can just do stuff in the- in the- in the oh god. Alright, anyway. So yeah, we have to head over in this location. Great, I'm definitely not getting lost in this bloody world. I know, by the way, uh, Silver. Hope your day's been doing pretty nice. I would have snitched on the teacher and have yourself full credit for that project, LMAO. It depends really on like what the culture of like group projects is in school, because I don't think in my um, in my like uh, high school or middle school that we're allowed to like snitch on like people who don't do any work, 
Like, it will be great, though, if you could do that, so that way we can tell people who are, like, actively sabotaging our, like, efforts to, like, do stuff to, like, get punished and all, all that stuff, you know? But, yeah, I, I, it really is depending on, like, what your um, teaching culture is. Uh, but it will be nice, you know? It will be nice to, like, tell some people who keep s saying that, like, group work is not important to, like, frick themselves off. Because we, we, we need, like, you know, grades to, like, not suffer. Also, what is the best way for, like, uh, grinding gunpowder? I think the best way, uh, considering that you're not going to do, like, any major amounts of work, is just to build a gunpowder farm. But if you want to do things manually, you could probably do, like, a gas farm, as far as I know. But it's really down to what you want to do, I would say. It also varies between teachers as well, so that's also really important. Alright. I mean, I already got the coordinates down for, like, uh... You know what? Frickin', I'm gonna add coordinates down to, like, all the portal locations I have on, like, screenshots and whatnot, because I do not trust... I do not trust myself in, like, getting these coordinates right. So, negative five, six, three... Uh... Seven, six, seven, two... That's the, uh... Forward operating base. Oh my god, formatting books is hard. <laughs> That's a forward operating base. Let me take a look at my screenshot so that way I know what is the coordinates of the nether roof portals we need to place down. What the frick is this? Okay, this is basically... Zero, zero is spawn. Easy. That's a very easy portal location. Zero, zero is spawn. What the frick is that? Negative 409, 501. I think that's the, uh... I think that's the stronghold portal question mark? I cannot tell. Because it's, uh... I mean, I think that is the stronghold portal by the looks of it, so yeah, let's put that down right next to, uh, actually let's put it right next to, like, the forward operating base, because that's the one, this is the stronghold portal that'll be right next to where our old base used to be, 501, strong, F-O, strong 1, I'm just gonna call it strong 1, <laughs> my brain's gonna die, um, Alright, let's see... I swear to god there was another coordinates here that we uh, can also list. This one. This is the uh, closest stronghold portal that's right next to Swan, so strong 2. Okay, so we got two stronghold uh, portals here, and a fob for the forward operating base. There's also like another few um, few other like uh, stronghold stuff that... I Did I accidentally cancel it? Oh my... I love my life. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go back and redo all of that because I'm a freaking idiot. 0, .0 0.0 is spawn. Easy. Um, next one is <laughs> freaking... I hate myself. I hate myself so much. Negative 5, 6, 3, 6, 7, 3 is uh, gonna be the fob. And the next one... Oh my god. This is what happens when you hate. This is what... I'm not used to this. So don't judge me, okay? Just just don't judge me. I really should have done this off stream. This is not an entertaining stream experience. Mental rage, I know. Alright, strong one. Strong strong one. And then the next one should be the lowest screenshot I have. Yeah, this is strong two. Two four four dash seven seven is strong two. Okay, there we go. Now I saved it so I don't suffer. Alright, anyway. There's a few more other portals that I have that like teleport directly towards um, some... S not strongholds, my god, my brain. There's some other portals that I placed down that are like close to um, some villages for trading, so well, might as well jot those down, so that way, that way it will also be pretty easy to like transport cats for, you know, uh, creeper farms and all that stuff, so that'll be pretty nice. So this is on... Okay, I don't know why you're here. You're not supposed to be here, sir. Um, this is at 620 or 619 something, okay. I'm just gonna close this so that way it's easily, uh, easier to, like, format in some ways. This is negative 619. I actually have a mod for, like, easily putting in coordinates, but, you know, I'm a freaking idiot, so I don't give a shite. 616. So that is village number one. That's so good, I guess. I'm gonna make this a little bit more better formatted because I hate everything that's about this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And do that. I'm, a, I'm, I'm. If you can clearly tell, I have like a lot of OCD when it comes to like uh, formatting stuff, you know. All right, so we got the spawn location, the forward operating base, strong one, strong two, strong um, village number one. My brain. 
All right, that's the first village we have. There's another village that's a little bit up over, up over the cliff faces. So we should quickly grab those. Anyway, that gentleman wanted to visit Florida. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely like the definition of Florida, I would say. All right, there we go. There's, this is uh, portal number two. All right. I don't want to accidentally teleport across, so let's not deal with that. This is negative five nine eight dash uh, seven five seven, and that will be village number two. All right, cool. That's all the main portal locations uh, sorted out. So all we need to do now is figure out a way to get towards the uh, nether roof without, like, you know, dying immediately. We should probably go back to like the spawn location then. Or actually, before we do that. Let's quickly go and uh, purchase ourselves some mending books before I forget, you know. Synchromad says, how's Hardcore 2.0 going? It's uh, going alright. What I call it, Hardcore 2.0? I don't really know, but it, it's going pretty alright, I would say. Yeah, apparently I did not really have any spare books, which is worrying. Alright, anyway, I need to buy some more books then. So that's going to be absolutely lovely for me. Alright, just don't mind if I do. I need to buy some stuff out of you. Um, yeah, two two will be fine. Alright. I think I don't actually have enough, like, emeralds for us to, uh, to, like, um, buy more stuff. So I probably should trade some gold just to, like, uh, break even a little bit. Do, do, do. Break all this. I'm gonna leave the silk touch, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave the silk touch axe over there for now. Alright. Hey, I also hope you're doing pretty nice so far, Ella. Unless I already said that already, then my brain's already fried. Oh my god, you guys haven't refreshed your trades! Okay. This is not great. This is not helpful. And you guys are freaking annoying. Fine. I have to go to quickly go to sleep on this very wacky white bed over here. Fair enough, then. Fair enough. Alright, place down a bed over here so I don't have to keep, like, uh, going to the village whenever I need to go to sleep. Um, okay, what else do I also need to worry about? I don't think there really is too much. We got the coordinates in. There are a few ways when it comes to, like, um... Okay, so far, like, uh... What else do I need to figure out? So... Getting towards the, uh, nether roof is pretty much straightforward. All you need is some ender pearls, which I don't have. So we're gonna need some ender pearls, which is easy to get. Uh, we need some ladders, so that way we can... You know, get all the way up towards the uh, nether roof and all that stuff and teleport through. And uh, we also need to find a way to break the, um, like, the uh, bedrock in order to, you know, utilize a little bit of both the nether and the nether roof. And there's a few ways we can break the nether roof in some ways, or break through, like, the bedrock of the nether roof. And it's really just down to what our resources are, because technically we have the resources and also, like, the patience, hopefully, and hopefully the specs as well. To do like a proper like um, or like a, find a good way of like breaking like uh, the bedrock for like the nether roof without having to use utilize TNT and all that stuff and dying. Um, but it is going to be a little bit finicky. It is going to be a little bit finicky to like set that up and hopefully not screw up. I would say so. We'll see how that would go. Hopefully. Um, anyway, Sigramad says, have you tried uh, consider trying Volt Hunters made by Iscali85? I think I've heard of Volt. Ho like Volt Hunters, but I've never really cared too much about like making or not making, uh, playing any sort of like custom maps or anything like that. But I think I've heard of that before in some like time before. I I, I don't really remember actually. Um, also use the Enderpearl ladder trick. That is the idea that we're gonna use for like teleporting through the uh, bedrock roof. So that is what we're gonna go for later on. Um, I'm gonna trade some more gold because I have so much bloody gold blocks. And I don't really have, like, a lot of, uh, I don't really have, like, a lot of, um, you know, uh, ancient debris and stuff like that. My brain hurts. Uh, why can I not form sentences properly? What the frick is wrong with my brain today? But yeah, I might as well just trade some gold, because why not? I'm pretty rich on that. Mm -mm, just quickly, uh, trade some stuff, thank you. Appreciate that. Alright. Um, yeah, exactly 70 pieces of, like, emeralds, which hopefully should be enough. I think 70 emeralds would be enough for, like, a few bits of, like, uh, mending, hopefully. Unless it's not enough, then we're screwed. Alright, anyway. Dump this over here for now. 
everything all sorted out. Um, I'm gonna get some more spare fireworks real quick. There we go. Dump this back over here. It's not a lot of fireworks, but it's better than nothing, I would say. Again, I really need to work on like a gunpowder farm afterwards. I have a challenge for myself, become your OG chatter, which I highly doubt that is something that you can achieve because, you know, EJP is a thing. <laughs> so it's, uh, it'll be interesting how that would work, but I highly doubt it will be very effective. Ow. Alright, let's go over here. Da -da 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 -da. Ow. Freaking bloody, like, uh, freaking parts of this game really want to, like, hate me when it comes to flying. My existence is a mystery. Hmm. Very big, hmm. Alright, anyway. Um, I think I remember, like, one of our, our like, uh... Wait, did our Mending Villager die? <laughs> if I remember, I think our Mending Villager died, which was very, uh... Not helpful. Yeah, our Mending Villager died, so... Yeah, that's not great. That's actually not a really good thing to deal with. But luckily... Luckily, there is a solution to, like, uh, to all our problems, and that is to get another person to do all that, I guess. So we're gonna go to the other village, and... Hopefully get our Mending Villager back again. Hopefully with much more cheaper prices, maybe. But, but who knows. Because I remember we did it like a raid or like a... Yeah, Minecraft raid over here and it killed like a lot of our... Um, a lot of our Fletcher Villagers. So uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that was pretty unfortunate. But that's okay. Because we have uh, another village that we can kind of exploit. So that's all good, I guess. Okay, why the frick are these idiots here? Alright. Give me a skull, please. Okay, you're useless. Alright, throw this away, throw that away. You can die, sir, because you are annoying. Thank you very much. I don't really need more, like, leather or paper or books or anything like that. I think eight should be plenty. Alright, go up over here. Again, I really need to, like, work on, like, a proper nether roof system here. Alright, where's that other villager that was, like, wandering around looking for, like, other stuff to do? Did he just suddenly disappear? Or did he die? I have no idea where you went. Hello? Where did that idiot go? Okay, whatever. I'll just go back to, like, um, the overworld and see what happens. Maybe he teleported back. Maybe he realized that, like, hell wasn't really made for him. Um, then again, I don't really see evidence of him being over here, though, so, uh... Bruh. Yep, we have no idea where he is. Bruh moment indeed, I would say. Um, okay, anyway. I don't think there is any spare villages, or villagers, not villages, but just villagers, that I could, like, exploit around through here. Because so far, um, I think I've already traded with all of them to, like, uh, sell me, like, uh, like, pork chop and stuff like that as a nice food source, so... They're, they're, if there's any left, they are probably gone. <laughs> I think they're all probably already, like, uh, unemployed AF. Oh! Spare villager, do not... Do not go to this composter. You're not supposed to be a composter, Mr. Loretta G Gear. Whoever the frick that name is. Alright, you're gonna go over here. And you're gonna become uh, a librarian. Because that's how life works. You now become a librarian. With the sole purpose of giving me mending and only mending. Because that, that's your life purpose from here on out. And you have no other way of like changing it. Because suffering. Alright, anyway. Uh, useless. Let's just quickly uh, do the good old-fashioned grinding for mending again. Useless. Useless. Anyway, this is going to take a while, ladies and gentlemen. Respiration. Useless. How are you doing, by the way, Misty? Useless. 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 You, you really suck at, like... Rolling trades properly, aren't aren't you? You really do suck in so many ways. Oh my god. Nope. This is gonna take a while, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, glad to hear you're doing pretty good so far, Misty. <laughs> god, I love the mending grind indeed. Looting one, that's terrible. Come on. Come on, you can give me something way better. Frostwalker 2, not bad, but also I don't want that. I, I really just want mending. Like, I don't care if you pay, like, I have to pay, like, over a stack of emeralds for mending. I, I just want mending, you know? Mending would be really nice. Not infinity, I already got infinity. So give, give me the mending. Frick your thorns three, get the frick out of here. Give me the mending. You know, give, give me the mending book. Like, your predecessors and your ancestors, maybe, I, I have no idea how the villager 
like ecosystem works or family trees work. I really don't want to think about that too hard. Uh, come on, just just give me just give me mending, you know, just the good old M book, the good old mending book, the one that gives me more overpowered stuff. Um, the more I keep adding that to my tools, you know. Just, just give me a just give me a mending book, not like not those default trades where you just give me absolutely nothing. Just, just a mending book, just a mending book, just a just a mending book. Anyway, um, also on PS, I kind of did like a whole rebrand thing. That's pretty pog. The guy, that guy Luca or Lucca, did that's how to pronounce that name or I, I don't know if that's how to pronounce that name correctly or not. But hope you're doing pretty nice so far. PS, haven't seen you in a good while. Uh, also, a bit of a spoil alert, we lost the two-year hardcore world, so that's something that you kind of missed from last year. Anyway, give me a mending book, please. I already got a sharpness for a book. Give me, a, give me a mending book, please. Give me a mending book, please. I'm being nice. I don't want infinity again. I just want, I just want mending. I just want mending, please. Please. Just give me the mending book. I don't want Death Strider to... Anyways, like Luca, but it's called, spelled Lucca because I like luck, which I guess makes a little bit of sense, I guess. Anyway, Luca. <laughs> Hope you're doing pretty nice so far, Luca. I already got a Silk Touch villager right nearby. You cannot replace his job. Feather Falling 4. I already got Feather Falling 4. Get the frick, get the frick out of here. Give me, give me some mending. That is the one thing I'm asking from you. You're not giving me the mending. I'm breaking one, my arse. You, you suck so badly in, like, trades. Come on. Come on. If we have to spend like a solid hour of the entire stream just like grinding through mending, I, I, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm gonna be so freaking mad. Alright, anyway, Foxboy. Hey, by the way, Foxboy. Hope your day's been doing pretty nice. Yeah. Rest in peace to your hardcore world may be missed, but not forgotten. Respiration 3, I already got Respiration 3. I already got like all the, um, yeah, all the water, like, uh, really an enchant that I ever would need, so. Frick you, villager. Fortune 2, I already got a Fortune 3 pickaxe. You, you suck. Impaling 4, how about I impale your freaking brains if you don't give me freaking mending. Anyway, I spent two hours on a world to get Sharpness 5. Amazing. I mean, I, it would be better if you just get Sharpness 4. Um, if you're able to get like a Sharpness 4 um, villager, it would be better. It would just be easier just to like trade with that guy, I guess. But then again, there is always a chance to like get Sharpness 5 or any like max like uh, enchant sort of thing, so... Eh, it's a, to each their own, I guess. Alright, I need to quickly go to sleep or else I'm gonna accidentally spawn in like a lot of death. So I'm gonna occupy this space real quick. Mending in the next five attempts, I highly doubt that. Also, I managed to get it cheap, so it was worth it, so... Eh, I guess that makes sense. I feel like there's like a certain limit to like, uh, or like certain like, uh, effectiveness of like, uh, setting up like very overpowered trade holes and all that stuff. Like once you get like, pretty decent sort of like, um, like, uh, I mean, there's only like a few enchantment books that you would probably need in like the regular. I don't really see myself having to like, need like a lot of Sharpness 4 or Sharpness 5 books or Smite 4 or Smite 5 books all the time. Unless you somehow break like something then, yeah, sure. But yeah, th this guy is so freaking useless. Adam Lee, how you doing by the way, Adam Lee? This is already our fifth attempt and this guy hasn't given me anything! Anything like remotely like useful in terms of like, you know, the freaking mending book that I wanted. I probably should have like done that like raid on that village like, a little bit more, uh, more carefully. Because otherwise I would not be in this bloody mess all the, t all the time, you know? Come on. Come on, just, 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 just give, just give me... Just give me the give me the mending book. That's all I'm gonna ask you, Loretta Grier, whatever the frick that name means. This is gonna take a while, ladies and gentlemen. Can you tell me his address? I mean, technically he's homeless, so I don't really think he has a proper address. All right. Anyway, Frostwalker too much. My my freaking left wrist is gonna be sore moving back and forth. So like you know, I'm I'm gonna like save myself a little bit of time and just break the book like, like that. Stop giving me more silk touch. That's a nice cheap price, but I already have a silk touch village a villager. So frick off. Power four. That's nice, but I don't need it. Give me freaking mending, you freaking piece of villager piece of sh shite. Uh, come on. 
Come on, you can you can give me you can give me mending. You can give me mending. It's not a hard thing to do. One of your ancestors or your relatives did that, and then he died because I forgot to like protect him. But whatever, you, that was all lie. Maybe I, I have no idea. Just just give me mending. Maybe you like silk touch, which is not really helpful because I already got a silk touch villager nearby, like literally in the same village this guy is in. So why does this guy really want to give me duplicate trade? Stop giving me the same bloody trades, you idiot! No, I don't need Riptide 3. I can just enchant that on like the enchantment table, my god. Anyway, while we're doing that, here's a little bit of a warning to those who are not yet part of the Fox Squad. There'll be an incoming ad break uh, with me like suffering, um, grinding through these trades. So honestly, you're not going to really miss so much content um, during this ad break that's going to come up in 40 seconds. But a little bit of a heads up to those who are not part of the Fox Squad. Oh my god. I don't want your default librarian trades. Efficiency 5 for 25. Oh, you really want to tempt me with efficiency 5 for 25, huh? You you really want to tempt me with that? Well, guess what? I need mending, so frick you. Frick, frick you. I, I only want mending. Okay? Because my one and only mending villager died, and I don't really have any alternatives, so please. Please, for the love of god, you stupid villager, please. I wonder what's gonna die out first, my sanity or my freaking axe, I swear to god. This is, this is gonna be a while until we actually have, like, something good. <laughs> Just kill this guy. <laughs> well, I can't really because it will anger all the villagers and uh, that will be a bit of a problem for, like, you know, trying to get food and money. So, I ideally, I don't really want to murder everybody because that will be very uh, annoying to deal with. Alright, anyway, this is not helpful. Yeah, some people out here are just, like, there's some people out here just looking for murder, that's... I mean, that's a bit of a low bar, honestly. Let's use the power of family using peer pressure! No, nah, that probably will not really work very well. Impaling 5, I don't care. What even is Impaling 5 meant to be? Is it, like, supposed to, like, increase the damage of, like, uh, triants? Like, I guess that'll be useful, but also, yeah. This is gonna take a while. Here comes the ad break, though. Sharpness one, you freaking bloody arse. Nope. Fast and furious, so oh god. Finally! Okay, we finally got like. It's, it's not cheap, but it's better than nothing, because if I don't trade with this guy, eh, we're, we're all doomed, so. This is better. This is better than nothing, I would say. Uh, all my money's gone though, so that's not really great. Um, but yeah, it's it's. I guess it's better than nothing. It took like three generations <laughs> to like get through that, so that's lovely, absolutely lovely, I would say. All right, anyway, let's uh, quickly uh, put back some of the other stuff that we have in our disposal. While the ad break plays, we might as well like earn some more money. And one of the best ways we can kind of earn money is to like sell off like a lot of like meat, I guess, because these guys do want to like get some uh, fresh produce, I guess. So we're gonna need to look for some pigs or something um, in terms of like intrinsic value so we can trade with them. So let's see, round through here. Have I been through round through here? Because I know we went through like a, uh, like a. Um, I uh, like a desert temple nearby around through here, but I don't think I've been through this part of like the desert biome here. Also, that looks pretty cool and very dangerous, so let's avoid that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I feel like I've already been through here before. Yeah, I've already been through here before because that's the, the uh, desert temple that we eluded some time ago. So yeah, this is all from pretty familiar to me. Anyway, let's let's look for some pigs so we can quickly trade some more emeralds to get some more mending, I guess. Yeah, that's that's a bit close, I would say, Lucas. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty close. Big yikes, though. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's keep going around through here. Give me all your food. It feels nice to just one hit to like a lot of mobs in this game now. That's that sounds very wrong, but also it, it's much more convenient, you know, compared to like uh, the other methods that we have to deal with uh, during the early game. This is pretty uh, pretty convenient. Bonk. 
Do, 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 do. Ooh, lava pool over there. I mean, then again, we have, like, a lot of obsidian, so we never need to worry about our obsidian supplies for a bit. Um, uh, we can easily get, like, uh, like, a lot of, like, sticks for ladders and whatnot once we go back to our spawn base anyway. Uh, we'll set up, like, camp a little bit on the spawn base, get ready for us to, like, do some nether roof breaking. And then we should be pretty much good to go, I guess, when it comes to, like, setting up, like, the nether roof areas, I would believe. Uh, but anyway, at least we're just still doing this a little bit of, like, uh, side task a little bit. Just getting mending and all that stuff. God, there's so much stuff we still need to do, Jesus. But hey, at least we have something that we need to do for, like, this hardcore world without getting completely and utterly bored. Alright, so let's kill these piggies. Ooh. Just don't mind all the pig murder in case you're, like, a huge pig fan. Uh, let's just go and just bonk these guys real quick. Imagine if I get, like, sharpness 5 for 6 emeralds, that would be very insane, but also pretty useless for the most part. Because I already got, like, um, sharpness 4 and all that stuff for other things I need to enchant. So, it's, yeah, it's not really going to be useful. Alright, did I, like, note down that there is, like, a, like, a pillager outpost over there? I think we're pretty close to our forward operating base, so wouldn't be much of a surprise if that was the case. I only got 61 pieces of, like, like, raw pork chop, are you kidding me? Give me give me more of this. I need to, like, sell these old off for emeralds. Come on, guys. This makes me think if I should really make, like, a... Like, a pig farm in order to, like... Or actually, not just a pig farm. But maybe, like, a hogland farm in the nether. In order to, like, sell off all the raw raw pork chop for, like, uh... For, like, you know, like, emeralds and all that stuff. Because you can easily buy off, uh, like, uh... Like, cooked pork chop for, like, pretty cheap anyway, so... So it will be a pretty good way of, like, exchanging, like, emeralds all the time, all the time, I guess. <coughs> Stupid blade nose. Alright, let's just do this. Excuse me, guys, I need more emeralds, so just don't mind me. Just don't show this to PETA and then we'll be all fine. Have you got thorns yet? I mean, reluctantly on my chest plate, so that's unfortunately a thing we have to deal with. I want- I probably would need to make, like, two, like, netherite armor sets. One for, like, I would say, like, building, and one is for, like, uh, animal gathering. Because, ideally, it would be nice to have, like, actual, like, Thorn's armor for building stuff, knowing what happened with, like, you know, Season 6 and whatnot. However, I also want to make sure I have a nice armor set for just wrangling in, like, animals or mobs. So we don't have, like, you know, Thorn's, like, damaging them all the time. So... Yeah, we probably want to, like, have, like, two armor sets just for those two purposes, I would say. Um, you guys are a little bit more cheaper. So I'm gonna trade you guys, because the other guy is a freaking idiot. And, um, that is not enough. That is still not enough emeralds. Oh, why we're so broke? Okay, anyway. Actually, this is actually a pretty cheap price for a silk touch, actually. So, yeah, th those low prices from that blade villager over there were completely and utterly unnecessary. Why is there dripstone stuff over here? Very interesting. Alright, anyway. Uh, let me just quickly get some sleep then, because I do not want to deal with mobs again. Because that will be very, really, um, yeah, very, very uh, annoying to deal with. Ow. Alright, I'll just quickly get some sleep. Not gonna lie, you have a Minecraft accent. What the frick is a Minecraft accent? What even is a Minecraft accent? How do you even know what a Minecraft accent is? What's that even, by the way, Crivo? Welcome back, uh, welcome, welcome back again, mate. Alright, anyway, let's just keep going over here. I'll look for some more pigs. I don't think there really is any other areas that I've missed around through here. This is a very nice, like, micro savannah biome, though. Sounding British and English at the same time is a Minecraft accent. What? But yeah, I, I can understand, like... Like... Me being sounding close to like being British English or something like that, but what? My brain hurts. Item drop sound. Alright, anyway, let's go and quickly uh, make this guy into an orphan. Go around through here. Have I gone through here um, already for like uh, looting stuff? I can't actually, I don't really remember, honestly. Anyway, more pigs over here. Don't, don't mind if I do. Gonna need some more food. Not for me, but to sell them off so that way I can get some more emeralds. 
I really need to find like a better way of like trading like um, stuff for emeralds. I mean, then again, I should probably make like a nice sort of like a uh, pork farm of some kind. Let's see if there's anything around through here while we're at it. I might as well get distracted for a little bit. Um, I wonder if there's like a minecart area that we missed around through here because this is a pretty big like Badlands biome. So there might be some things that might be interesting around here, I think. I'm gonna collect some shuriken while we're at it, so that way we have enough for like some more farms, maybe. And also might as well get some sticks, you know, for like ladders and stuff like that. I'm kind of tempted to kill- why did that bunny just jump into the water anyway? Um, I'm kind of tempted to kill some rabbits because you can actually sell the rabbit meat for like uh, some emeralds, but I don't think they really yield like a lot of like meat for us to sell off, so it's not really going to be wor really worth the effort. Anyway, how you doing by the way, bunny? Just don't hurt yourself. They should really- <laughs> Mojang should really make sure that like rabbits have like almost no fall damage because you know they always keep like jumping off cliffs all the time and then it causes them to like always die off. It's always pretty sad and funny in that sort of regard. Alright. 56. And we can get to a little bit more because why not? How's that? I mean, yeah, too short from like an entire stack, which is pretty decent. I don't know how much ladders we need. If I remember how to craft ladders again, it should just only be like uh, one, two, three, yeah, seven like uh, seven like uh, sticks each for each amount of like uh, ladder. So yeah, I think six should be more than enough. So we don't actually need to go back to spawn in order to like uh, deal with all of that later on. So that's pretty useful. All right, let's just fly around through here. See, there's anything interesting around the Banlands biome here. There's a lot of like, um, what's the word, like uh, lush uh, caves nearby, so that's pretty cool. Now, have I looted this place? I feel like I've already looted this place like a long time ago, but I don't think I remember, uh, fully remember like uh, checking everything out over here. There is a few name tags that I haven't fully looted yet, so that's a little bit of evidence that I've not completely checked a look around through here, I guess. But yeah, I feel like I've been through here already. Because this place looks very familiar. That or I've just not been very uh, keen-eyed on like some things. Yeah, I've definitely been here um, before. Because these are very familiar looking sites. Alright, anyway. That looks pretty good then. Is there any more minecart areas around here? Don't see anything. Yeah, I can't really get more extra riches around through here, I guess, which is pretty whack. But oh well. Anyway, I'm getting lost now. I should probably find a way to get back towards our uh, main, like, a uh, few areas, I would say. Um, I'm probably I'm going way further than I should be, so this is going to be a bit of a problem for us. Anyway, pop for, like, some bilingual, like, uh, or multilingual, like, uh, viewers in the chat. <laughs> Love that iron pickaxe over there. At least there's a few scattered like mine shaft uh, or mine carts over here, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, lapis, that's pretty uh, pretty interesting. Might as well take that while we're at it. Our mine cart over there. So many like service mine carts. Oh hi zombie. There's no mine burning to death. All right, looting three. Okay. I mean, it's only going to be useful for a book, and I already have looting three, but mm, that might be pretty useful for something later on, so I'll take that. I swear to god I can actually memorize the entire, like, um, like few melodies in, like, the Sonic Frontiers OST, I swear to god. Then again, I've been listening to the tracks way too many times, I already, I already reckon. I don't see anything else, so I think we're pretty much like uh, clear on that area, I believe. That's not, uh, that's just a normal village, so that's uh, good to know, I guess. Um, yeah, we should probably head back, or <laughs> make our way back towards our uh, spawn location, I would say. 
well, not our spawn location, but our main, like, uh, village area that we've been at for quite some time. But I keep getting distracted. I keep getting distracted by these minecarts. Dang it. Uh, this is gonna be a bit of a problem for me. Uh, normal golden apple. I might as well take that, because who knows, that might be pretty, pretty useful for some things. That's a deep-ass, like, hole. Does it go all the way down to, like, deep slate, though? I cannot tell. Looks like a geode on the bottom, actually. Or something. Or right, anyway. <laughs> That's a very unfortunate way to, like, land, or a fortunate place to land. At least it's, like, daylight, so we will not immediately die to these idiots. But that's really unfortunate. Uh, I don't see any other, like, um, like minecarts, I think, in the surface, so... I think that's pretty much it for this area, though. Pretty handy in some places, though. Anyway, you get lost in, uh, you get lost, you get my cold, says, uh, Adam Lee. Sorry, what? Am I cursed with sickness because I got lost? What? What? I did not agree to this. Anyway, Luca is apparently having their fourth language. Or has like, uh, has English being their fourth language, which is pretty insane. The life of someone being multilingual. Alright. This does not look familiar at all. This is all different terrain. Okay. I'm gonna slowly get lost in the bloody area that I've been to. Wait. Wait, this looks familiar. Wait. Wait. I've seen this before. This is the same, like, minecart area, or, yeah, mineshaft area that we've been to before. So if we head in this direction, we should be able to get back towards our main, uh, village that we came back from. Okay, so we're not gonna be completely lost then. Okay, that's good to see. Alright, oh my god, I'm getting distracted again. I'm getting distracted. Nope. Nope, must stay on course. Must stay on course back towards our main, uh, uh, main village. If the viewership is still going up, the chances are is that it's still based off, like, um, the front page promotion thing. Like, a lot of, like, the viewership stuff has been really, like, been growing up and up and down all the time because of, like, um, us being part of, like, the front page promotion thing for Twitch. So, it's not really the most accurate viewer count that, um, will be easy to, like, uh, not really easy, but, but like, it's not really very accurate to how many people are actually watching, I would say. Ooh, baby pink sheep, I remember that. Alright, somewhere around through here, because I remember flying over, like, the snowy grove over here. And it should be somewhere over here, I believe? Right next to a jungle biome, that's all I remember. Yeah, right over here, there we go. Okay, we're back to our uh, main village now, so that's good. Alright, so let's go and quickly, like, uh, tidy up all of the goodies that we've collected during a little bit of distraction, I would say. Didn't get any extra, like, um, yeah, we didn't, yeah, we didn't really get extra emeralds, though, which is really, uh, not helpful. But hey, at least we got a Looting 3 book, so that's handy. More name tags for us to utilize for whatever means necessary. Uh, we got an egg. Useless. Um, what other stuff can I dump around through here? Let's put all the coal over here. Any spare torches over here, that'll be pretty useful. Uh, Shuriken can stay over here. Uh, we don't need a composter, so we can throw that away in the dirt. Keep this. Alright. Things are looking pretty good so far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> God, my throat is already beginning to, like, get a little bit dry. And I hate that. Alright, I doubt this is gonna give us enough, like, emeralds to get another, men another mending book. But, oh well, might as well try. Okay, we, we actually could get another mending book, so that's pretty good. Where's that, uh, villager guy that we trapped earlier? There he is. Alright. Give me that thing. Alright, that looks pretty good so far. Alright, let's go back towards the, uh, the nether again. Go back to the spawn region, set up our respawn point. And, um, yeah, hopefully get back to the end and set up all of our mending stuff. And then we'll do some, like, uh, nether roof breaking. I... Yes, I, I don't know how to segue into like different parts of um, different parts of like the stream honestly, so it's just gonna be whatever. All right, throw that. All right, fly away. Should just go straight towards zero zero, so that's the sort of rule of thumb that we need to aim for. <laughs> just another polish for the swears, Jesus Christ. 
Like, who wouldn't really learn a language just to learn how to curse in different languages? Jesus Christ. Anyway. Um, could I go through here, or is this way too dangerous? No, I can't go through here. A bit perilous, but it is doable. And the portal should be around here. Perfect. Alright, just don't get murdered by any sort of hoglins, and then it will be fine. Thank you very much. It's already nighttime, so hopefully mobs will not really annoy us uh, too badly. And they are, so that's a good sign. Thank you. Alright, get some sleep before a creeper arrives. I'm gonna drink, quickly drink some water because my throat is beginning to gunk up, which is always a lovely experience. Anyway, Adam Lee says, yes, you are cursed sickness. Okay, that's gonna be lovely, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy. Alright, we'll just kill some extra uh, spare-like uh, creepers around here because I do need some more gunpowder for fireworks. Oh, I did not know that you were two of you guys. That's not really entirely helpful. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, I don't think I really see anyone else though, so that's unfortunate. At least we got some spare gunpowder just in case. We got some spare pork chop for whatever reason. Alright, anyway. So we got that sorted out. We're gonna go back to the end real quick, add mending towards some of the tools that I probably should add mending like some time ago. And then we'll go back to the nether and then we'll figure out a plan on how do we want to get towards the nether roof, I would say. We would have to put the nether roof like um like the sort of like puncture or like the hole for like the nether roof right next to where zero zero is. So we know for a fact that if we want to like go to the nether roof, we just go straight towards the spawn region, like coordinates and all that stuff. So that's always gonna be lovely. Let me just quickly go to the end real quick. If I can memorize where we need to go, that'll be lovely. Alright. Oh my god. Yeah, just just get meleeed, because you can't you can just do that and once you're in the end game. Alright, anyway. More gas tears, lovely. Right, where the blight hell is the blight thing? Alright, the hunt begins finding my portal again. There it is. <laughs> Always keep getting blind on where it is. Alright, there we go. Back towards a stronghold. Okay, that just sounds very cursed, Luca. Alright, anyway. Back to the end again. And I'm gonna go say hello to the Enderman farm once again. That actually is working pretty damn well. All we just have to do is just make sure it doesn't cause any problems later on. And we need to steal some Ender Pearls as well. So this is also a pretty, lo pretty convenient location for that. Alright, come on Enderman. Spawn in, and fall in. Your job is to be uh, attracted by Pablo. Come on. You guys can do it. They're slowly doing it. Alright, anyway. We got three mending books. So we have... This one already has mending. This one already has mending. We'll add mending towards... Uh, what other tools do I want to add mending? This already has mending. So that's pretty uh, useful. And this already has mending. These two do not have mending. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna add mending to like, probably like, like, all of these, like, three tools here. Just two axes and a, like a shovel. That'll be pretty, uh, good for us. So let's just quickly add that. Whoops. Mending. Mending. And mending. There we go. That's a good start for us. We really need to get, like, a better way of, like, game mending later in the future, but for now it's, uh, Pretty much doable, I would say. Alright, put this back over there. Alright, so we're gonna quickly repair all of our tools that we have left over. How come I don't have fire aspect? Because I kinda don't really want to have fire aspect. And also, if I want to like get like the raw pork chop and all that stuff, ideally you should not really get fire aspect. Where the frick is this guy going? He's supposed to be dead. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah. Like, uh, I would probably just not get Fire Aspect, just for the sake of, like, getting the raw, like, meats to just sell to, like, the butcher later on. Because, you know, that will be ideal. I don't want to really rely on, like, having to, like, hunt down, like, food all the time, so... Might as well just buy it. Alright, that's probably more than enough Ender Pearls for what we need to do for, uh... For, like, uh... For, like, the Nether, um, sort of, like, breaking, so let's not deal with that. Alright. 
Uh, I don't think we really need to repair any other like tools yet, so we'll probably just put them over here for the meantime. Da -da 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 -da. So silk touch and fortune, yep, that can stay over there. That can just put back over there, and that should be all pretty much be good. All right. So basically, all we need to do now is to uh, get towards the Nether Roof now, and hopefully nothing goes terribly, terribly wrong while we do that. Unless it does, then we're all gonna die. And yeah, that's gonna be a huge problem if that happens. Okay. We need to get some nether rack so we can pinpoint where exactly the zero zero location is and then we'll mine all the way up. Or just go all the way up towards the nether roof and see where we can go from there. Cause yeah, I don't have any spare nether rack, so or maybe we should not use nether rack. In terms of like acting as like some sort of like um indicator for where uh the spring zero zero area is. Maybe that'll be pretty much wise. Um, anyway, I'll see you later then, Razor. Hopefully see you next time. Be sure to get some good rest then, mate. Alright. Zero, zero is where exactly? It should be somewhere around over here, I believe. Is this tree in the way? This tree is in the way. Of course this tree is in the way. Alright, anyway. I'm just gonna go up before we get murdered by, like, uh, mobs again. There we go. And we have a nice straight path upwards. Since we already got some deep slate, we might as well use utilize the deep slate for stuff. Do do do. Ron eggs and pasta sauce says, "What's doing, bro? I'm doing pretty well so far. Hope you're doing pretty nice as well, rotten eggs." But anyway, we're just chilling, just doing some like hardcore stuff, getting ready to like puncture through the nether roof because I want easier transportation in the uh, the hell dimension, you know. So ideally, it would be nice to like have this sort of opening. Mm hmm. Okay, we also need to like find out where is like the uh, easiest point to get through to uh, the nether roof as well because that will make it a little bit more easier to know uh, where we need to like uh, puncture through but then again it doesn't really matter knowing the method of uh, uh, knowing my method of like getting up towards like the nether roof anyway because I have like a much more better way of like uh, handling through all of that but we'll see. That's 124. Is there anything higher than that? I think there's actually a higher, like, uh, height you can go towards, but I don't think we can find it. 124. There's only just only 124. Oh, well, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, it's a, it seems like only 124 is the highest. Unless I'm blind and maybe I'm looking in the wrong direction. Oh, that, lo that looks a little bit more higher. Yeah, 125. This one's a little bit more better. Okay, we'll probably start off over there and then uh, just make, keep an eye on for like this area just to uh, break off later in the future. So yeah, 125. That's a good way we could start things off. All right. Let's just make sure I have like all the materials that I need because I don't think I have like a specific material uh, for what we need to do to like do like a nice sort of breaking of blocks. Uh, yeah, I don't think I really have... I need some black stone real quick. That way we have, like, at least some sort of, like, um, lever of some kind. Because I need to utilize that for a way of, like, breaking bedrock. Where can, um, I mean, wood is easy. We can get some sticks from, like, these. Pretty damn easily. Black stone should be pretty easy to find. Uh-huh. Got some black stone over here because I need to make some, like, uh... Some levers here. Or just one lever. Wait, I can't... Do I have to use cobblestone to make a freaking lever? Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. Fine, I'll go to... Fine, I'll go to the overworld and get myself a proper lever. Fine. Fine, I'll get some actual cobblestone. Fine. Also love the Hollow Knight music in the back. Indeed. It's pretty nice, the Hollow Knight music. Alright, anyway. Let's throw this away. Uh... Do I have any spare cobblestone? Oh, it's, it's left in the freaking end. Okay, so I'll just have to like uh, mine a little bit. Just get a little bit of extra cobblestone, I guess. Good job me for parrying this far into like the late game. Good job me indeed. All right. Boop. Let's pick that up. How much far works do I have left? 25, that's not great. And I don't have a lot of gunpowder, so that's gonna be a bit of a bigger issue as well. There you go. Ron Eggs and Pasta Sauce and Joseph Dershow too? 
Or just Joseph, welcome to the Fox Army. Hope you guys are doing pretty nice so far. Alright, anyway, let's keep ourselves going around through here. Dump all this. Also, lol tides. Welcome to the Fox Army. Hope you're also having a pretty nice day so far. Okay, I think we should be pretty much good for where we are right now. We're gonna swap this back to Silk Touch so I don't accidentally break. Like, um, I'm gonna skip this track. This is already getting a bit too ominous. Um, I don't want to. Well, I don't want to accidentally break like inner chests and break them apart. So, gonna keep ourselves like Silk Touch um, tools over here. Uh, we don't need more sticks, so I don't know why I need extra ones. Do I need anything else? Um. All we need is redstone. Do I have any, like, uh, I don't have any pistons. That's one thing I also need to, like, uh, craft real quick before I forget. Oh, I need, then I need to get a freaking bloody, I need to get some more cobblestone then. Frick. All right, any fine, fine. I'll, I'll deal with that real quick. You, you, you freaking fail to, like, even try and attack me. You guys are complete idiots. Ah, <sighs> my brain sucks at, like, remembering, like, important stuff or resources that I need. But yeah, we need some cobblestone in order to make some pistons, so we need to might as well grab some of this over here. Just don't let a creeper come out of nowhere and ambush me, because that'll be really unfortunate if that happens. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, there we go. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. We need to make sure we have enough like pistons, because I mean, we don't really need a lot of pistons, but just enough for us to, like, uh, do a little bit of, like, uh, bedrock destruction at each end, I guess, so... Just gonna make sure everything works pretty well. <sighs> Why can I not talk properly anymore? Maybe it's because I, like, accidentally let the fan open and it's now getting pretty, um, pretty cold for me? I have no idea. It's either pretty cold or pretty warm for me, and it really is just kind of whack in all that sort of regard. Alright, um... We only have, like, two redstone blocks, so we're probably just gonna have to stick to, like, two pistons then. Great. So we got that. We can get some iron over here, make ourselves two pistons. What do you mean I can't? Oh, yeah, I need to get some more wood. Uh, wood. Here you go. Get two pistons over here. And, I mean, that's probably more than enough. We also need to make sure that the thing still works, or the, uh, not the, ex not the exploit, but, like, the sort of, like, uh, tactic and, like, breaking, like, uh, bed bedrock still works, because it is a pretty, like, um, reliable-ish uh, method, even though it's gonna lag quite hard because of, like, the method that's being utilized. We need more redstone, though. Uh, we could probably buy some more redstone from, like, uh, the forward operating base, so that might be something that we can do before we start. So let's do a quick uh, flyby towards, uh, I mean, I, I'm broke with, like, emeralds, so I might as well have to, like, trade with more emeralds. Ah! Freaking bloody game prepared to, like, break the nether rock. <laughs> nether rock. My brain hurts. <laughs> I can't speak properly anymore. Dang it. The nether rack roof. There we go. We need to, like, get that all sorted out anyway. So it has to be negative and positive again. So negative... Uh, 500 and positive 600, so heading over in this location. Am I gonna get trapped over here again? Nope. Alright, we're fine. I'm probably gonna also stay over, like, the night as well to try and get some extra, like, gunpowder, because even killing gas is not enough, like, supply of gunpowder that we would need. At least not fall off into the void, thank you. And those are terrible drops. Alright. Over in this direction. Anyway, Salu, welcome back, mate. Hope you're doing pretty nice so far, Jono. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of gunpowder. It's not enough, though. I don't really want to get stranded in the nether again, so ideally... Okay, I'm heading in the wrong direction. This is definitely not the right direction, as far as I know. So let's head over back... In this direction, Jesus Christ, my stomach's trying to explode again. Yeah, definitely have been here. These are definitely man-made objects around here. Alright. All we need to do now is just go back to that nether fortress, and then we should be all good, I guess. Doing good. My phone randomly reset, so I have to re-download everything. Absolutely lovely. Big fat rip, though. But yeah. I have no idea why the hell it 
like some phones have to like automatically reset like that. That seems very, very whack. All right. Time to go back to the overworld again. The frick do you mean it's already daytime? What? I thought it was already night. Did I accidentally sleep again? Is the sun setting or is it like... I mean, my brain's like dying. The sun is setting. So... Or is it rising? I must have accidentally slept like an idiot. Okay, whatever. It's fine. My brain hurts. Everything hurts. Everything in my brain is just completely and utterly dead. Okay, so we can't get any more extra like gunpowder then. Because I accidentally slept like an idiot. Alright. Let's just quickly get some more emeralds here and get some more redstone out of them. Because that'll be very useful. There we go. It's not a lot of redstone, but eh, it should be plenty, I would say. I don't know how much redstone we probably would need, but I think that should be... Actually, we might as well get like a crap ton of redstone while we're at it, since we're still rich with like gold. Alright. Don't mind if I do, I guess. We're just gonna buy off all of your supplies of, like, uh, emeralds and redstone, because why not? We're rich. Okay. Can you restock? Nope. You guys cannot restock. Lovely. Alright. Go over here. Put this back over here, I would say. I'm actually gonna grab all the redstone over here while we're at it. Okay. So... Technically, all of the uh, equipment that we have right now, um, excluding like the gas tiers and whatnot, is pretty much all we need for us to break through the nether roof. If everything goes pretty well, unless something goes horribly, horribly wrong, then uh, then I will panic and then perish inside myself. Okay, anyway, let's see if uh, we can quickly store off all the gas tiers. Like, who knew inventory management can always be such a pain sometimes? Okay, so that's all good, that's all good. Carry this back over here. We got our fireworks restocked. Flint steel's in our, like, uh, our blue shulker box, so we can relink the portals pretty easily, so that's also pretty good. And, um, yeah, let's just hope nothing goes horribly, horribly wrong. Wait, there's books over here this entire time of brain. My brain hurts so bad. Okay, anyway. Ron Egg says, uh, what mods or texture packs do you use? If you want to know what mods or texture packs I use, you can do exclamation mark pack or exclamation mark mods. Low Tide says, uh, what are you building? We're about to, like, uh, we're not really building anything in particular, but we're about to, like, puncture through the, um, the, uh, nether roof, because that'll be much easier to travel through than having to fly all over the place in the open nether where there's just nothing but terrain all over the place. So that is what we're about to do pretty soon. All right. Go to the uh, the stronghold because I don't want to fly all the way all the way back towards the uh, the main freaking like zero zero area in the Nether. All right, easy pathway all the way to zero zero. Did I sleep? Some? I mean, I must have slept at like at like zero zero. I have to. Why is my brain so dead though? Why can they not remember like very significant details like that? Jesus. Alright, anyway, that looks pretty much good for us to go. Well, all the ladders have already been set up, so all we need to do is to uh, just teleport through the nether roof and then break it. And hopefully nothing goes horribly, horribly wrong while doing all of that. Alright, anyway. VK Green, hope you're doing pretty nice, by the way. Alright, there we go. Can, can, can I please get up, you freaking idiot? Thank you. Alright. Should be pretty simple. We got all the major tools, as far as I know. I don't have any extra spare blocks, so, uh... There you go, extra spare blocks. With that all sorted out, let's just go up through here. There we go. So this is the coordinates of the thing that we need to break. So this is the, uh, yeah, the thing that we need to break, anyway. Alright. Let's just, uh, I should probably indicate it with something. There we go. Alright, so... The method that I know that can kind of work pretty well of like uh, when it comes to like breaking netherrack uh, or not netherrack bedrock up in like the nether roof and all that stuff is based off like um, somewhere in one of my experiments where we can actually like test it out again to see if it still works properly. Okay, anyway, here's all the experiments or like uh, sort of designs that I wanted to work on in terms of like um, I don't know stuff from my season six world I would say. 
So we go over here. We're going to quickly go to Nether. Why is there two Nether portals? I do not know. Okay. Let me see if I can find out where my like test location is. There it is. So there is actually a known way of like breaking Netherrack without having to utilize like um oh, I don't have trap doors, do I? Uh it should not be a problem. It should not be a problem whatsoever. Yeah, definitely not. Anyway, um so mm -mm. We definitely would need trapdoors, though. Anyway, this is so far the try and uh, try and true method of like breaking netherrack without having to rely on like uh, explosions and stuff like that. This should be the instructions on how to like set that all up, and this should be like the order of how this should work. So 16 clicks uh, per second is adequate. Make sure the redstone block and the updater is removed first before the piston, and then one trapdoor works for breaking system uh, for some reason because logic. Um, hopefully you get the right sort of, like, um, order right, because I don't know if I can fully memorize it very well. So, let's see if this would work perfectly fine, still. I need to, like, make sure I refresh my memory with this, or else I'm gonna be completely and utterly screwed. So, if I remember, we have, like, a sort of piston on the bottom over here that's gonna be activated by a redstone, a uh, redstone block over here, but it's not gonna do that immediately unless we update it, like so. Then, we break this. Then, I'm gonna utilize, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna utilize the power of Tweak Roo right here with definitely legitimate means <laughs> of like uh, getting through with the system. If I can remember what is the um, the the setting that I need to like uh, utilize. Is it Tweaks? No. Hotkeys is not hotkeys, yeets, it's not the right one. God damn it, my brain is already beginning to like get itself fried. Fast block uh, placement count, I believe, is the thing that we need to use. So we just need to scroll this up by a little bit, up towards um, or fax right click count. I can't remember which one is which actually. Uh, my brain hurts. My brain is gonna hurt real bad. Fast right click. Okay, so it's probably this one. This one setting over here. Fast right click count. If we put it around to 16, this goes on for like a long time, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, if we do that, and then make sure we have this turn on for quite a while. Also, I haven't been here in a while. Why haven't you just, uh, ha sorry. Why have you decided to start streaming earlier in the day? Because I already said this, like, before in previous streams. I'm gonna enable this real quick. Just gonna double check if this still works. The reason why I, like, um, stream during the early, uh, early in the day is that, like, um, as a result of, like, heat and stuff like that it's really really hot to try and like uh oh my god i have to i have to use a trap door or else it's not gonna work <sighs> thanks to like the heat of like summer and stuff like that it's really really annoying to like stream during like the evening so ideally you have to like do stuff in like you know the morning in order to like stream properly and all that stuff okay so let's try to do this again let's put two redstone blocks over here so this is the system that's gonna work um for this sort of system over here. We break all of that down. Where's the instructions that I have? Make sure the redstone is updated. Uh, make sure the redstone block and updater is removed first before the piston. So yeah, that should be how it should work. There should be a trap door or else we're not gonna be able to like put these like uh, pistons like downwards, which is what we need them to be pointed towards. So that's gonna be really uh, whack for us to remember. All right, break the updater block. Then break the pistons and have them point like this. And in theory, it should break the bedrock like so. There we go. So we know it can still work. We just need a trap door or else we're fricked. So, um, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. So well, at least we know that thing works. All we need to do now is um, make sure we have the resources that we need to do this. Because I don't have a trap door as far as I know. Oh, God. Um, do I, do I even have any spare amounts of wood? I don't think I do. Like, I would never really normally put, like, wood in my inventory or any of my stuff around through here. Uh, that's gonna be really unfortunate then. Well then, I guess we'll just, uh, have to come back here uh, later on, I guess. But for the meantime, I might as well set up, like, the zero zero portal somewhere. Like, the spawn portal, uh, somewhere around here. At least we can go back to the overworld, I would say. So that's better than being trapped here forever. That'll be really unfortunate if we get stuck here, uh, but for now, uh, we can still go back. But it's still not going to make our job any more easier yet, so let's just put this back over here. 
get ourselves some trap doors, and then we'll uh, set up the uh, bedrock breaking source system now. Ron is from like Australia, which is a big pog. What time is it down in like New Zealand? Don't know why people still say down because we're not that far down. Anyway, um, it's currently 10:32 a.m. here in New Zealand, so it's I think it's like a two-hour difference to like compared to like Eastern like um, uh, yeah, like Eastern uh, Australia. So it's actually not too bad of like a time difference, I would say. But it's pretty interesting though. All right, that's all sorted out. At least we know the method still works, and we at least know that everything is hopefully going to work in some way. So all we need to do now is to, uh, do the thing. And hopefully nothing goes terribly, terribly wrong while we're doing all of that. Alright. I cannot tell if this is the sixth movement or the seventh movement. I think it is the seventh movement. Because I've listened to this, like, thing for way too long. It is the seventh movement, okay. Alright. At least we got another spare ender pearl over here. Okay, zero and negative four. Don't want to suffocate there, thank you very much, game. Alright, zero and negative four, so we need to break off the block over here. Just like so. Alright. It's right next to the portal as well, which is pretty uh, horrifying. Alright. Here we go, set up the system. Just like so. And then we'll have to like dedicate like a certain area for like a sort of redstone pulse. So that way we can lag the frick out of this world, <laughs> utilizing ticks and whatnot, so we can break, uh, break off, like, the area that we want to break off. This is what we call, uh, a janky solution to, uh, janky things in the game. I mean, if you, if you have to, like, enlist in, like, janky solutions to, like, uh, janky stuff in the game, is it really all janky? Or really cheaty in some ways? I don't really know. But at least we know it still works. Hopefully. Then again, the world that I'm playing, uh, I was like testing it on was like, like a 1.15-ish world, so I don't know if it still would work 100% well, but who knows? Should be fine. As far as I know, I don't think I've heard it, heard them patching, or Mojang patching the thing anytime soon. Also, a little bit of a heads up, there's an incoming ad break, so you guys would probably would miss me breaking this. Um, if placing down the trap, I think placing down the trap door would be a problem, so... So I don't know if that's going to be any issue with this. It should not. Alright. So here's the goal. So we, what we need to do is turn on this thing for a long period. Or like a bit of like a period of time. Let this thing just like do its thing of destroying the ticks out of this world. Then we need to rush all the way towards those like pistons. Turn them upside down. I need spare pistons, don't I? Frick. Okay, never mind. The ad break is playing. We're going to quickly reset the system over here. Because I need- I would need, like, a spare piston ready. Oh, frick, which was the one that we need to break? <laughs> Crap. Uh, negative four. This one. Okay, so we have to, like, utilize, like, a spare piston. So I had to do this one at a time, so thank god we at least brought two, or else that would be a huge nightmare to, like, repair all the time. Uh, you knew that this was completely and utterly scuffed in so many ways. Alright. Um, activate this. Put this over there, and break this. Alright, this thing is primed. So in theory, this should work. This should be easily able to like break down uh, bedrock very easily. There's only one way we can find out though. That should, should give us like ample time before we do that. There we go. Please work. Please, please work. Yes! Okay. And that is the wrong block. Oh wait, never mind. It glitched out. Okay, frick. Okay, that's not good. Okay, never mind. And that was not even the right uh, coordinate either, which was very unfortunate. Which is the right one that we need to break off. Um, we're looking at the right one, aren't we? Are we looking at the right one? This looks to be like the right sort of like. Um, yeah, I have no idea, honestly. M point four. Yeah. This should be the, like the right sort of like bedrock that we need to break. So, okay, let's try that again. I don't know if we should actually place down the thing first. I think we have to place down like the trapdoor first before we do anything else. There we go, and then we update it. Like so, break that. Okay, we're gonna try this again. And hopefully this will work again. 
Alright, I'm gonna ignore this freaking, like, uh, chat message. Thank you very much. Alright, let's see if that will work. Okay, come on. Come on, please work. Please work. Please work. Just break the bedrock, and everything will be fine. Yes! Okay. Okay, at least it works. At least we know the order operations that we need to do, so that's good. Okay, that's really good. Okay, so we have a nice sort of access towards, like, um, the top of, like, the nether roof and stuff like that. But we we'll still need to break a little bit more extra nether... No, no, frick me. We we'll still need to break a little bit more extra bits of, like, bedrock just to make things a little bit more easier to navigate, I would say. So we need some more pistons and some more, uh, more, uh, I don't know what else we need. We, we just need more pistons. So let's quickly get that all sorted out then. John, my nose is really irritating today. But at least we're able to break through the bedrock roof, so that's a good sign. Uh, we got some more cobblestone here. We got a lot more redstone now, so we should be good on resources. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we also definitely need a little bit more extra. I mean, we probably could just do two at a time, or maybe three at a time? Three pistons at a time would be probably ideal. That could probably work. I mean, how much redstone we still have left? I don't think we do have enough redstone, though. So yeah, let's not do, go for that pathway just yet. <laughs> Alright, dump this over here. Alright, looking pretty good. Oh, I should probably dump my iron back over here, then. Alright, four pistons. Uh, we just only need one trapdoor, so that's fine. So that's two... Uh, redstone blocks for these two pistons. That looks pretty much all good to go. All we have to do now is just uh, not mess anything up. And then we should be fine. Is there anything else that we'd still need? Um, I don't think there really is anything else. We don't really need ladders, so all we need to do is just uh, break this without uh, breaking our sandy. But at least we know it works. At least the entire system still works to this very day. We might as well break the um, nether portal that's like on the uh, ne main nether surface real quick so we can just teleport directly towards the one that's on the nether roof instead. That'll be convenient. Kribo says, do you play any other games? I mean, technically I would say I played like a lot of RimWorld recently because I just recently came back into like playing RimWorld again. I always like playing that game. Um, there are other games um, that I played before that I really enjoy. One of them, one of the games you can easily figure out by the soundtrack that's playing in the background right now. Um, but yeah, there really isn't that much games I should uh, haven't played yet. There actually is like a few games that I really want to play that I haven't had the chance to play yet. So I wouldn't really have like a full on like proper list on all the games I play, uh, wanted to play yet or something like that. But yeah, I, I play like a lot of other games. Really need to re I really need to revitalize the uh, Fox versus everything sort of like variety game uh, series again. Because at least we're able to play a lot of different games on stream while we're at it afterwards. Alright. Go back over here. So all we need to figure out now is to break off all the bedrock that's below around the coordinates of zero zero. So that way we have a nice sort of passage towards um where the frick is the blade thing? Didn't I break? Didn't I break it? Where the frick is the uh, where the frick is the ladder that I like placed down earlier? Because I swore this was the ladder that I went through. Why is the bedrock suddenly like repaired itself? What? I'm completely confused. Okay, that's a bit worrying. Did it just magically so like fix itself? What? Okay, that is not good. That's actually really not good. Okay. Um, maybe it was just still a ghost block then, so that is worrying. What's your favorite soundtrack from a game? I love the music from uh, Software Games. I don't think I've heard of From Software that much. Um, but pretty much a lot of like uh, the, like most Sonic soundtracks I really like to listen to, so that's an easy sort of thing to like uh, pinpoint. Um, but yeah, I don't know of any other games. I mean, I guess Minecraft, Minecraft soundtrack is really good, both from, like, Lana Rain and from, like, SC418. Those ones are also pretty good as well, so that's also my sort of thoughts about that. Alright. 
That's activated, so all we need to do now is to do the thing again and hope for the best, and hopefully we can figure out what the frick was causing the issue with, like, uh, some blocks being ghost blocks. Why were some of them ghost blocks, though? That should not be happening. It was working before, though. Alright, anyway. There's only one way to find out. Okay, break that. Here we go. They're all ghost blocks still. That's super bizarre. Maybe I need to like, uh... Hmm, I don't know what's the right way of like, me like fixing those sort of things. Let's try that again. Gotta love it when they're always just acting like ghost blocks. Do, do, do. Do, do. Do, 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 do. Alright. Maybe I can just do this? Would that still work? I don't think that will work. It's offer for, like, Dark Souls and Elder Ring, etc. Ah, right. That would actually make a lot more sense, because Elder Ring really has, like, a pretty interesting sort of soundtrack, so that's not too bad. Alright, place those down. Hopefully that's still gonna work. This should work. We already tested this before. This worked perfectly fine before. I mean, not before in this world, but like, like during our test, it works perfectly all right. Oh, okay. We need to like uh, get the right sort of, uh, sort of like uh, pattern up again. All right, so it's somewhere around here again. This is what happens when you do some janky ass shiz. <laughs> some things just do not work properly. I would say. All right. So place down the redstone blocks again. Break that off. All right. Are you playing on Bedrock version or Java edition? We're playing on Java edition. So pretty much that's how uh, we're doing things right now. Uh, Sam Co. If that's how to pronounce your name. Maybe if I destroy the redstone blocks while we're uh, doing the thing, that would fix it. I'm not too sure though. All right. There's only one way to find out. All right, there we go. Please work. Samco, okay, that's good. At least I'm able to pronounce your names correctly. But yeah, I hope your day's been doing pretty nice so far. Okay, that did not work either. All right, let's try that once more. Make sure we get the right order, um, list down. So it has to be like this. Activate that, break the redstone blocks. Turn on the bloody machine of absolute lagging doom. Because it's just redstone. Alright, break that. Go down here, break these two. And then replace these two. This should work. If this does not work, I do not know why it's acting up very weirdly. Because we tested this. This still works, hopefully. Then again, I don't know if it still works for like 1.18 stuff. Oh my god, it's still a ghost block. Why is it still acting up like a ghost block? It makes no sense. Maybe it doesn't have enough redstone around like through here. That seems very bizarre. Okay, let's do a little bit more testing. Why is this not working? It was working before. I swear to God at 1.19 finally fixed something that is going to be very, very whack for us. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, that's correct. Because if we take a look around through here, this is the same system that we uh, utilize as well. And it worked okay, so I don't know why it's not working anymore. Alright. Let's just do like a dry one without the uh, without the uh, trap door and see what we can do about that. Yeah, that didn't really work very well. Let's try that again. Alright, break that. Okay, that's a bit too close. Maybe the uh, thing is too close. I don't know. That's actually going to be the case then. Okay, you do that. You do that. That gets activated. That gets closed. Then you activate this. Also, I'm an hour behind you. Brisbane time. Noise. Uh, I've seen some more like uh, Australian viewers still.
This should work. There we go. No ghost block or anything. So why is it not working? Let's try with like a trap door and see if that's the right way of like handling stuff. Maybe it's a trap door that's a bit finicky. Who knows? Okay, uh, break that. So we know this could kind of work, so why is it not working around like zero zero then? That seems very bizarre. Alright, place that down. This should work. Also, Sam Cow, welcome to the Fox Army. Hope you're doing alright. If this bedrock breaking method does not work, then we're kind of screwed. But it should work. Like, um, hmm. Okay, that doesn't seem to work properly. Okay, maybe it is like the piston that's acting very, uh, or not the piston, the uh, trap door that's acting a bit weird. How do we properly set that up then? Like, it was able to work before, so why is it acting up very bizarrely? So, if we do that... Activate this again. Break this. Crap ourselves down and then do that. Does that fix it? Maybe we need to build, like, netherrack platforms first. Aha, okay. So we need to make the- we need to make the netherrack platforms first. That could probably work in terms of, like, doing this. Microsoft may have made some bugs when they updated the game, says, uh, Samco. No, 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 I think it's probably our technique that's really, really whack, so... There still is a chance. There is still a bit of chance that this could still work. Because we, we- we can definitely, like, demonstrate that it still works in, like, creative, so... So hopefully it's still gonna work, uh, regardless. Alright, so I'm gonna quickly just put this up there for now. Set up the, um, the trapdoors first. Do this. Then do this. Then do this. And then break this. In theory, this should work. Or in actually in practice it should work. Not even in the theory. This should work. Alright, break this, replace these two, whoops. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> I messed up. Alright, let's see if this left one works. If the left one works, we're in good business then. Frick. Okay, let's try that again, because it could also be like me breaking the uh, piston, so it could still be just user error being stupid. Alright. Maybe it's the portal, actually. It could also be the portal that's right next to it that could be causing some weird interference, maybe. So, there might be, like, another reason why this is not working properly. Alright, let's try that again. This should work, come on. Alright. Just place it down there. Just keep ourselves still, and just hope that it's not going to glitch out again, I swear to god. Freaking my bloody arse. Okay. Okay, so it is it is able to work, but something is interfering it. Maybe the obsidian right over here, or the portal right next to it, is causing some sort of weird, like, uh, ghost block effect? Well, there's only one way to test it out. If we destroy it... Maybe we can, like, uh, force it to still work. Because in our testing, it didn't- we did not use, like, a portal or anything like that right next to it, so... That could still work. Anyway, how you doing, by the way? Fine. Yes, this is true big brain time right now. Well, actually, it's pretty- actually, to be completely honest, it's more like big brain diagnose- like, troubleshooting, I would say. I'm trying to do some big brain, like, uh, troubleshooting to make sure this thing still works. But I know it still works. So, hopefully, that- Interference should not cause any problems now. It's only one way to find out. Hope you're doing pretty nice, by the way. Fine. Alright. Down, down, boop, and boop. Please work. You got zero portal interference, no light interference. This should work. It should all just be completely secluded. You just see nothing but a huge C on the, in the, uh, the thing over there. Oh, that's not a good sign. Why is it acting up very weirdly over here? That makes no sense. Like, if we refresh the chunks, it should be fine? Why is it still ghost blocks? You can clearly see that, like, 
should be able to break through, but it's still ghost blocks. That is so weird. Like, why is that the case? If I, like, log in and log out, does that fix it? It probably would. Yeah, it's still ghost blocks. Why is that the case, though? Okay, I have another theory. We just keep doing it. We'll just keep doing, like, uh, the thing even if we see ghost blocks. And see what happens. But yeah, that doesn't make any sense, though. Why would it still be showing off ghost blocks? We had, like, ample time to, like, get that through. So the fact that it's not working properly still is concerning AF. Alright. Let's try that again. Like, it worked before. It, it, even in my, like, other hardcore worlds. So maybe it's just the version number that's uh, a bit weird. Alright, I messed up the, <laughs> the piston placements, but... Oh, well. Yeah, I, I can still not, like, uh, slide down over here, which is still a bit concerning. If I place it on a block there, is it fixed? I do not know. Okay, let's try that again and force it to still work. If it still works after that, then we're in business, boys. Alright. <sighs> let's see if this would still work then. Can we force this to work? I will die trying if I, if I can't force this to work. Alright. Piston over there, piston over there. We just force the ghost block to just disappear. If that if that is the method that we have to do, then we'll see. We'll see how this would go. Alright, come on. No, it's still ghost blocks. No. Why? Why is it still a bloody ghost block? Makes no bloody sense. They're all still ghost blocks. Dang it. Okay, well, we need to like do some extra research around through here. I need to look at the method of what we're using right now, because it might be some sort of weird, um, sort of thing with, like, uh, coordinates or something like that. <sighs> God damn it. I thought this was gonna work. I thought this was going to, like, uh, work properly. <sighs> Breaking bedrock using redstone and pistons, if I can remember how that works. Oh, come on. This should be able to work, but unless there's some sort of weird thing then that's not going to be very bizarre. Uh, this has nothing to do with update suppression, so it won't be affected. Does it work on paper or whatever like that? No, I don't know. It just, according to, like, um, to some, like, uh, to the person who found the method, it should work. So why is it, like, um... My, my game lags, but Bedrock doesn't break. There would be a ghost lock. Make sure you instantly mine the pistons. There should be... You need a good pickaxe and a haste to beacon for that. Oh, we have to instantly mine the the pistons, don't we? Okay. So, wait. Aren't we able to instantly mine the pistons? No, no. We can't. We have to instantly mine the pistons. That's the drawback of this method. Right. So, okay. So we de definitely would need, like, a haste to beacon of some kind. Or maybe we should, we should be able to, like, uh... Go in with, like, I don't know if you're able to, like, uh, break, like, pistons instantly with just only a netherite pickaxe. That's one way, one thing I can double check real quick to see if it still is, like, a thing we can do. Unless we do need to use haste, then that's gonna be a huge royal pain in the arse then. Okay, let's just do a little double check. Efficiency, or not. Enchant, efficiency. Yeah, me, efficiency five. No, I'm not in spectator mode, I just need to be in sp Okay, we need haste. Uh, we definitely would need haste of some kind. But we don't actually have, like, um... We don't have a beacon yet. We still haven't defeated a wither yet, so... Frick. So that's still gonna be a bit of an issue that we need to, like, resolve then. Oh, that's absolutely lovely, isn't it? Alright. Uh, yep, Fox DST, give us haste. Does haste 1 still work? 100... Yeah, haste one actually would still work perfectly fine. Maybe with like um, diamond pickaxe, would that still also work? Okay, if we only have haste one, we can still instantly mine like uh, these pistons. Okay, so that's doable. So that's the only drawback to the solution. Enchant efficiency 
five. Even with diamond pickaxe, it's gonna work. Use the TNT method or by fallen bread. Yeah, the TNT method is the alternative. However, I find that to be extremely unreliable. And also, like, uh, I also had, like, incidents before in my previous hardcore world where it would break bedrock using TNT. You also have a chance of also blowing yourself up to death if you're not too careful. So, so far the only solution I can think of that isn't going to be an absolute pain in the arse of trial and error and wasting so much TNT. Because it might not work sometimes, and it might, but it also might not work. Um, so far the other solution I can think of is to uh, grind a crap ton of wither skeletons and get ourselves a, yeah, or give ourselves a wither, basically. And uh, make ourselves a very basic beacon that allows us to have haste one. Because I think we're able to get like, uh, well we don't have efficiency five yet, but once we add efficiency five and haste, we should be able to instantly break down like uh, pistons and we should be able to break through the nether rack. Not netherrack. The freaking nether roof very easily. So, yeah, that's the major drawback we have to deal with right now. But there is a solution. It's just gonna take a while to get to the solution because we don't, we don't have like, uh, we don't have like a lot of, um, yeah, we don't have a lot of like other freaking bloody withers and stuff like. Not withers. We don't have any wither skulls, which is a problem. So, yeah, we'll have to deal with that then. But in the meantime, let's just. Um, See where we can go from here, I would say. Alright, let's go and dump everything back over here. I need another shulker box for, like, redstone stuff, so let's just put everything over here then. Do do do. Put everything over here for the meantime. Throw this away. There we go. At least the method we know still works. We just need to make sure that we have, like, um... <laughs> the right materials and stuff uh, set up, but yeah, we don't have that yet. So... I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding, I guess, in the, uh, in the nether, and hopefully we're able to get ourselves enough skulls to, like, uh, get a wither ourselves. And if we're able to, like, do a quick, uh, quick kill of the wither, um, while we're at it in the end, then, uh, we should be able to get ourselves, uh, through the uh, nether roof then. So, that might be a possible solution for us. Alright, see you later then, Rotten Eggs. Hopefully see you next time. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a slow thing to deal with now. We can't use that portal again because we're only going to be teleported back to the uh, nether roof and that, and we're just going to get stuck over there. So we need to go a little bit further away to set up a new portal. So that's going to be lovely. Maybe I can set up a new portal where the village is over here and that could still work fine. That's only one way to find out, I would say. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try to go for like a low point because I definitely would need to transport villagers uh, somewhere eventually anyway. Let's go and build yourself a portal over here. Do, do, do. D do you mind? Do you mind, sir? I'm trying to build like a freaking hell portal over here. Thank you very much. D don't. I would recommend not standing in it. That 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 will be ideal, sir. D don't don't stand on top of it, or stand inside of it. That'll be very not great for you, sir, at all. All right. Throw that away. Okay. Got a portal set up. Please do not teleport us all the way. Don't tell me those villagers just teleported through. Oh god, that's gonna be really bad. Alright, still in... Okay, at least it didn't teleport through, I think, hopefully. Okay, so we at least got, like, some sort of, uh, portal here. It's only, like, a few blocks away from, like, where our zero zero portal is, so that's not too bad. Alright, time for us to hunt down some wither skeletons, I guess. If we can find ourselves, like, a nearby... Oh my god, frick off. If we can find ourselves a nearby, like, um, like, sort of, like, fortress that we can grind ourselves through, so that's gonna be very helpful for us. Anyway, how you doing, by the way, uh, I can't even read the chat properly. Fee-fint? Or just fee-feet? Hope you're doing pretty nice so far, feet. Hope you're just doing alright. God, I can't talk properly anymore. Alright. Let me just say hello to this area over here and say goodbye to the blaze over there trying to kill me. That'll be very inconvenient to deal with those blazes. Alright, and the search begins to hunt down some, like, uh, some wither skeletons. And I don't think a biome like this will be very useful to find, like, a lot of wither skeletons. So we should probably find, like, a soul sand valley of some kind. So a grave, so we do need to travel a little bit into the, um into, like, this bloody area here. Alright, get owned, you freaking idiots. 
Alright, let me just get some gunpowder and some tears over here while we're at it, because at least that's free real estate for us. Okay, we need to look for a fortress that's somewhat surrounded by, like, um, like a soul sand valley like so. That'll be good for two reasons. Number one is that we're able to find a fortress that has, like, a good spawn rate of, like, wither skeletons. If it's, like, located in, like, a soul sand valley and whatnot. And two is that we can actually save that location later on and utilize that for, uh... For uh, with like a wither skeleton farm later in the future, that is if we, if we can try and find one, because I highly doubt we can find one nearby around through here. Yeah, don't mind that. Thank you very much. IGN Schlaz, hope you're doing pretty nice so far, Schlaz. Welcome back. Hope you're still doing all right. I already looted these freaking bastions already. Where's the freaking fortresses though? There's one, but it's not right next to a soul sand valley, which is. Not convenient, but oh well. Well, there's one over there, I think. Let's take a look around here. Definitely have been here. This is definitely an area that I alluded to, uh, alluded uh, quite some time ago. All right, come on, Wither Skeletons, give us a skull. I need a skull from each of you, and I'll be happy. That is not a skull. That is called disappointment. You freaking idiots. All right. Anyway, let's take a look around over here. God, I keep forgetting how intense this music is gonna <laughs> gonna be for quite some time. It is I, Oli. How you doing, by the way, Oli? Or just Shalaz now, considering that's her name. Ideally, I want to like just at least call out people's names according to their usernames, because it'll be a bit more easier for me to like uh, keep track of who's who. I hope you're doing pretty nice so far, though, Shalaz. All right. I don't know if I looted this like fortress like whatsoever, so there might be some stuff that we can grab over here, like so. Maybe some extra diamonds, maybe, or extra stuff we can steal. Which I'm, I'm not not too against, you know? Get some more gold stuff. Alright, where are the wither skeletons when I need them? Come on! Hello? 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 Well, that's just not really helpful, is it? At least this is an area that I haven't looted, like, whatsoever, so that's good. But I'm not seeing any, like, mobs. This is not really helpful, actually. <laughs> oh, boy. <coughs> Please throw. Can you actually, like, not actually act like an arse for, like, the next, like, few minutes? That will be great. Thank you very much, throat. These hallways are empty. Ah, there we go. Hello, Mr. Wither Skeleton. Just go over here. Don't mind me. Freaking bloody useless piece of shite. Alright, anyway. That's just a dead hallway. And that is also a dead hallway, I presume. Yep. <laughs> just completely useless. Alright, let's take a look around here. Alright, that's fine. I hear a lot of blazes, but not a lot of, like, uh... A lot, a lot of, like, anything else, which is unfortunate. Oh, there they are. There's the army of, like, wither skeletons I'm looking for. Ow! And I'm on fire. Thank you, Blazes. I appreciate that. Kill those off. At least we get some blaze rods in the process. Why not? Gotta get that blaze powder. Alright. These guys are really bloody annoying. Oop. There is a batch of, like, only two, I believe, like, two Wither Skeletons here that we can try, or three. So that's pretty useful for us. Do do do. ow. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You can piss off, you frick. Alright, come on. Why is there a freaking magma cubes here? Why are they all vibing over in this one location? Alright, anyway. Let's try and, like, give them a little bit of distance for them to spawn in, because I do not know how good the rates are. Still no, no still no grab of, like, any sort of wither skull, uh, skull, so that's really annoying. Come on. How are the, how are the normal skeletons spawning in? Okay, I need to find, like, an open, like, sort of, like, a... Uh, sort of, like, a uh, freaking fortress that we can grind off from. Because this is not really a great location. What's over here? Yeah, this is the same fortress that we've been to earlier. At least we got some skeletons over here, though. Alright. Eh, 
and still useless. Oh my god, you guys are really not giving me anything, aren't you? You're willing to like give me like two freaking like enchant golden apples in a freaking blade like rune portal chest, but not like a wither skeleton skull. Thank you very much, game. I appreciate that. All right, this is gonna be really grindy, I would say. I don't know if I should keep some of the bones because the bones can be pretty useful for like um for like st stuff, but at, at the same time, I don't really care too much about them. Is there anything over here? Nope, just more obsidian. Might be useful, but not useful right now. Alright, we'll just keep searching around, see if there's anything we can still grab. Alright, there we go. Did he just fall off? Yeah, he just fell off. Amazing. Ow! Okay, you can die, sir. Alright, these freaking blazes, I swear to god. Alright, eh. There we go, he's dead. Come on, hello. I'm over here. I'm a normal, like, human being that requires to be murdered right now. Don't mind me. Alright, anyway, this is gonna take a while. Grinding, like, skeletons, uh, wither skeleton skulls, especially in areas that I'm not familiar with, is gonna be pretty painful. Unless we search hard enough, I guess. If we just keep searching for, like, a nice soul sand valley area, then maybe we will be able to make this much easier for us. Alright. That's a dead end. Maybe there's something around over in this direction? Unless that's also a dead end. Um, I mean, I see some openings here. Nope, that's also a bit of a dead end. Okay, we're stuck here then. Lovely. Lovely good start to, like, uh, getting through this hardcore stuff, I would say. Alright, to look for more fortresses. This is the one time I'm actually, like, happy to look for more fortresses now. But specifically ones that are, like, in areas that are actually, like, useful. You know, soul sand valleys and stuff like that. Like, ideally, I would like to look for some over there. Alright, there's another fortress. What's the rates looking like? I don't see anything. Which is either disheartening or a good sign. But most likely disheartening because they should be able to spawn more plentiful around here. Alright. A few skeleton boys. Ow. Mind just duel each other for a bit because you guys are really trying to be annoying. Thank you. And this guy just gave me absolutely nothing. <sighs> piss off. Piss off. Alright, what's over here? This is definitely also a place that I've looted to before. There's like remnants of like man place blocks around through here, so this is definitely an area I've been to. Not very useful though. Alright, see some more soul sand valleys. These are not open though. Why are these so closed in? If there were open, like, um, if these soul sand valleys were a lot more open, that would be very beneficial, but no. These are really, really whack. Still have enough fireworks, so I think we should have enough to, e to easily also go back home, so... As long as we don't get lost, then we should be fine. Nice crimson forest area, though. Alright, now we're in a nice open area. Not helpful, though, because I don't see anything that might be useful. I mean, there's a Bastion there, but, eh. I don't really want to, like, hunt down more Bastions again. So, I have to keep our eyes out for something. Soul Sand Valley, that's another one of those, like, um, these are new chunks. So this is also, like, uh, one of those, like, Bastions that have, like, a uh, thing in the freaking front. Like, gold blocks in the front, so you can steal them. Because their security is kind of stupid. Eh, but at the same time, also don't give a shite. <sighs> trying to look for a fortress in like a specific biome is such a painful mess sometimes. I mean, I know there's like hacks, or not just hacks, but like... Uh, like tricks that you can actually search easily for like... Um, like a fortress in the Soul Sand Valley, but... It is pretty tedious to find one. And even if you do find one, you're trying to look for one that's also pretty open. Because that'll be much more easier to work with. 
But this seems to be pretty much secluded. My god, this is just full of blazes. Okay, goodbye. That one pathway just really wants me to die. And I said no. No thank you. Alright, let's see. Um, this seems very weirdly blocked off. Why is this pathway blocked off? Alright, anyway. Just normal rounds of blazes, which is not what I'm looking for, so they can all perish. But that's a lot of wither skeletons, so that's a good sign. That's a good sign, I would say. No, I don't want to kill you. I just want to like get rid of all the blazes that are trying to be annoying over next to me. Alright, that's one down. Okay, let's grab those wither skeletons and hopefully get ourselves a wither skeleton, like wither skull eventually. Please, give me a wither skull. Come on. There's so many of you. If you don't drop a wither skull, I'm going to be so disappointed. Alright. Two over here. Three over here. Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good old rates with a looting three aren't, aren't really going good. Alright. Alright, that guy's dead. Come on. Alright, still nothing. These guys are really acting like pricks right now. Did you die in the other hardcore world? They haven't been on stream for a while since uh, Mickliff. Is that how I pronounce your name? Uh, Mickalis, or just Mick. Uh, but yeah, we lost a two-year hardcore, uh, hardcore world, which was the uh, previous hardcore world that we've uh, been playing on, which is a big rip. But overall, we're making a pretty solid start on a new hardcore world. Aside from the fact that we cannot get a single Wither Skull out of this bloody area. But other than that, we're doing alright. Alright, come on. Give me more stuff. Why is there so many blazes, dear Jesus? And I also don't like how there's so many, like, a zombie piglin here. That's not really helpful. Alright, kill those guys. Okay, this is not going great. There's blazes here trying to ambush me on every single bloody corner in the world. I mean, I, I appreciate the uh, the blaze rods, but I also want nothing but wither skulls, please. I don't want your stupid crappy stone swords. At least we're not gonna run out of coal anytime soon, I guess, which is always the silver lining when it comes to these sort of grinds. Or any fuel in particular, because blaze rods are a really nice source of fuel. Ah! Okay. Come on, please. Where's the freaking skeletons? I would really want to see a lot more death. This is kind of like a, a puny amount of death, I would say. Or a specific time of death. I mean, you guys have death, but yeah. How did you die, uh, says Mick? Uh, maybe you want to know how we lost our six, uh, like season six hardcore world, which is a two year hardcore world. You can do exclamation mark S6. So you can see the terrible way that we managed to die and lose that hardcore world. All right. Two wither skeletons. Give us three wither skeletons. Please. RNG, please. I got level 30, please. No, okay. This game still hates me. Alright. It's, like, it's almost like a love-hate relationship with like the RNG of this game. It, half, of it, half of it likes me, but also half of it also hates me. There is definitely like some sort of like weird love-hate relationship with this game. Or the RNG, I would say. Not just the game. <laughs> That'll be very weird. At least there's a lot of, like, treasure chest stuff around here, so that's good, I would say. At least we don't have to m keep mining for materials. Then again, I haven't really mined a single amount of Actually, I did mine some materials earlier, but not too much to really count them as always mining. Alright, kill you off. Alright, what's our inventory looking like? Um, it's not too full, I would say. Uh, at least we can throw out some of the soul sand stuff. Come on, I need some more wither skulls. Why is there just nothing but blazes? I don't care. If I wanted blaze rods, I would just go to your freaking stupid spawner. 
Okay, there you go. Can be a bit of a surprise because you were pretty well hidden. And you still gave me absolutely nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of convinced this game hates me. Yeah, that death clip is very painful indeed. <laughs> oh boy. And that's why you should always pause your game whenever you're trying to go AFK, because ideally, you want to uh, avoid death as much as possible. Finally! We finally got at least one. <laughs> one freaking blaze skull, but that's still not enough. But hey, at least the game has some empathy, or sympathy, or something like that, I don't know. At least we got one, and that's good-ish. Good for some part, but that's still not enough. I need two more. Game, please. Oh, hi there. Game, please. Alright, anyway. Let's go. Uh, we need to keep some of this, so I'm going to throw away some of the extra bones I have. Okay, these freaking blazes are always going to be truly... Be okay, you guys just completely missed me. You guys suck at aiming. You guys suck. My gosh, I thought you were supposed to be like the best like target masters out there, but no. You're nothing but disappointment. Nothing but disappointment. You guys suck. Alright, anyway. Ow. You all suck. Anyway. Alright, that's a lot more Wither Skeletons. Give me something. Give me something. Ah, uh, disappointment. Stop giving me freaking blazes, you fricks. Game. If I wanted blazes... I mean, then again, there is a spawn spawner right there, so I guess that makes sense, but still. Stop giving me naturally generating freaking blazes. I don't care. I don't care for those mobs. And now it's completely and utterly useless. Okay, anyway. Okay, these guys are really annoying. Alright, go over here. There's another, like, wither skeleton here I can kind of nab. And I did absolutely nothing. Alright, anyway, I'm on fire now. Lovely. Okay, where is the other areas over here? I'm actually gonna probably, like, destroy all of the, uh, blaze spawners here, because I really am not gonna use this for a blaze spawning area. So, frick all these. It's nice for blaze rods, but I don't need a crap ton of blaze rods. I'll take some of them, though, because why not? Why is the chat dead? I have no idea. It is a plethora of reasons of why the chat is pretty much dead. Alright, anyway. Hello there. There is... Uh, I, I'm gonna hope three, but I think it's just only two. So, bonk, 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 bonk. And I get absolutely nothing. Thank you much, game. Oh, third one. Nothing. Thank you very much, game. I appreciate the amount of, like, support and effort that you gave me to this amazing, like, hardcore world. Alright, anyway. Four skeletons. Are we gonna get something... Out of these, or absolute disappointment? The answer is not absolute disappointment! We got our second Wither Skull, thank god. And now I'm gonna burn to death, because these freaking blazes are everywhere. Oh, hi. I'm gonna lose so much health. <laughs> freaking bloody heck of these stupid blazes. Alright, anyway. This way. This way over here. Why are so many blazes? Alright, anyway. Ow! Okay, fine. You want to turn into, a, like, a fuel source for my, like, stuff later on? Well, too bad. You're all gonna die now and turn into a fuel source. So, too bad. No survivors, I would say. Alright, anyway. Hello there. Just, um... Oh, there you go. <laughs> Took you a while for you to notice. Anyway. Probably should not be taking these sort of hits. I was very close to losing a lot of health earlier, so... Uh, pretty yikes. Oh my god. I don't need more of you. I don't care. I honestly do not care. Do you think I'm looking at, like, do you think I'm a person who needs to go to the end again? And, like, respawn or find, like, another stronghold and all that stuff? Uh, no. Leave me alone, you fricks. Anyway, this is what happens when you're already, like, far into the end game and you're not getting what you want. How the frick are you guys spawning over there? Okay. I guess this is turning into, like, a freaking blaze grind now. Everyone hates me. Alright, anyway, at least there's two Wither Skeletons here. I think. Yeah, there is two. Stop naturally generating these freaking blazes, game. I don't need them. 
All right. Let's take a look around the corridors, because I haven't checked those in a while. Um, so far, there is absolutely nothing, so that's a good sign. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there are so many blazes. Like, the one time where I'm asking the game to, like, not give me blazes, it gives me so many blazes. It's as if it's, like, not listening to me whatsoever. Alright. Okay, break those guys. Thank you. Um, you guys can- ow! Really, guys are painful, Jesus. How many are you? Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is why... Yes, we finally got our last Wither Skull. Okay, thank God. We can actually do the Wither fight right now if we want to. Actually, we might as well, because I still need to, like, break through, like, the nether roof anyway. Uh, anyway, we're done. We're done. We got all of our freaking Wither Skeleton Skulls. I'm done with this stupid bloody area. I'm gonna fly out of here. I see a nice direct pathway out of here. Let's go. We. Alright. Back to zero zero we go, I guess. As long as we don't run out of, like, fireworks. And, yeah, we should be fine pretty much. Alright, this direction. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, we're done. We're done with this stupid bloody area now. Okay, um, I'm not gonna loot that Bastion, even though it's gonna be like free gold, but like I also don't give much of a shite. So let's go over here. I might want to record like, I should have like recorded the coordinates of like, uh, <laughs> missed that freaking like lava fall by the way. Uh, I should probably like record the coordinates of those, um, those freaking bloody like, uh, fortresses there, but at the same time I can also get the coordinates from like me flying around, so, eh, it should be fine. Technically, every single recording is a screenshot of where all the stuff is, because I have, like, the coordinates always on the bottom right. Which is very handy. Alright. Hmm. Here's the fortress that we've been to before. Oh, there's a lot of, like, Wither Skeletons, though. Might as well get some more chances while we're at it. While we're getting burned to death. Alright, come on. Might as well get some more coal. Come on, over here, there you go. And still absolutely nothing. The chances of me getting any more skulls are pretty much nil now. Thank you very much, Gabe. Appreciate that. Rose says, what's up with streaming a lot in the US times now? Uh, mainly because I don't want to burn to death um, IRL because during the evenings it gets super bloody hot because it's currently summer here in New Zealand. So as a result, I usually just now stream during the uh, the mornings for me because it's much more cooler and I don't die to heat. So that's why I have to stream in these times. It will unfortunately change um, later in like um, March, I believe, where I'm going to have to go back to university and I will not be able to like, um, <laughs> excuse me, do streams in the uh, morning anymore. But we'll see though, we'll see. Alright, 700 blocks. Like, we should- all I want to do is just aim for, like, where, uh, zero, 0 is, so that way we can get back to- or we can just go through here. <laughs> this is also another stronghold portal, so that's pretty useful. No! You really hate me, game, don't you? You really want to hate me so much, game. You really do. Alright, anyway. Uh, that's a lot of bone, that's a lot of other crap that I don't care about. Let's quickly do a wither fight so that way I can let's just add that to like a moment or something like that. I have no idea. Because from my experience, doing a wither fight is not really, really that intense. It's literally just avoiding the skulls of like an idiot and surviving. It's actually not that bad. Anyway, without further ado, I guess, since we already have like all the stuff that we need, we might as well just do that uh, really quickly. And we can also teleport back to like the spawn region pretty soon as well. So that's going to be very helpful for a lot of things. Alright, anyway, let's go and find ourselves a nice position for us to do a quick wither fight. And it requires us to get, like, full, ar um, full, <laughs> like, armor, because that'll be ideal. Alright, all we need to do is just find a nice location to put the boy down. We're not gonna immediately cheese them, we can easily, like, cheese the withers through, like, the- using the end portal and stuff like that. But nah, nah, we're- we're-, we're we always do, like, the first, like, um, Wither as, like, as legit as possible. But at least we don't need to go completely overkill with killing the Wither at this, uh, stage, because from my experience, they're not really that hard to defeat. Alright. Hello there, Wither. 
It's nice to meet you again. You're nice and blue, waiting for me to, like, immediately destroy you and all that stuff. So, um, prepare to die, you idiot. I have to, like, aim properly with this. There we go. And we just bonk him. Bonk, 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 bonk. I appreciate the help destroying the end stone, by the way. And easy clap, as always. Wow, that's a huge-ass crater. <laughs> Bit of a huge-ass crater that the, uh... Wither has, like, left behind, so... Oh well, that's pretty neat. Anyway, that's a moment for you guys. For whatever reason. Alright, anyway, that's the... That's the first ever Wither sword out. Very anticlimactic, because... Like, I can't really make it more intense. It's, it's literally that fast to defeat the Wither nowadays. So anyway... Anyway, we'll just, uh, cover up all the holes here just to make this a little bit more... Um, less messy up, I guess, or less messy to deal with. Can, can, do you mind Wither, um, status effect number two? Can, can, can you mind just chilling out? Ooh, we got a Wither Rose as well. Because it killed, like, one of the Endermen nearby. That's pretty neat. That's, what the freak was that sound? Jesus Christ. That's pretty neat, though. Alright, anyway. Let's, uh, now quickly establish ourselves that bloody, uh, Haste 1 Beacon that we needed earlier. We should probably also put, like, Efficiency 4 on this pickaxe, so let's also quickly do that before I forget. But yeah, we need to quickly go back towards the Nether Roof again. And we should have, hopefully, all the materials and stuff we need to, like, uh, do the bedrock breaking. Hopefully. Unless, like, unless we don't, then we're fricked. I need to go back to the overall quick, because I don't have any glass. So, we'll quickly get ourselves the beacon and get ourselves sorted from there. Anyway, what was that I just claimed? Noit? <laughs> yeah, Noit. Anyway, anyway, uh, whatever you just claimed was, like, a moment or something like that. It's, like, a nice sort of way to, like, highlight, like, important Twitch, like, clips and stuff like that, so... Hey, at least you got that. And also the sun is setting, so that's perfect timing. Alright, uh, we'll keep one over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine blocks for the beacon. It's just a haste one beacon, so it doesn't need to be too extravagant, so that's good. Uh, what else do I want to store? I need to, like, store off all the other valuables that we've gotten. <laughs> so let's quickly get that sorted out. Yeah, diamonds over there. Coal? We have so much coal, indeed. Let's quickly put them back over here. Ugh. My ears are beginning to pop a little bit. Okay, put this back over here as well. Jesus Christ, we have so many blaze rods. Alright, that's good. Put some bones over here, because I'm lazy. And we should be pretty much almost good to go, I guess. Mike says, how long have you had been on this world? Um, ignoring the two-week break between January 1st and January 16th, like, we only just started this world in, like, December 26th, so that's how long it's been. Uh, is that a new partner thing? i never seen it in, like, a Twitch patch or something like that. Moments has been, like, a thing for quite a while, I believe. It's been well over, I think, a year since they, like, introduced it. Like, I've only been starting to use it, like, recently because I'm an idiot streamer sometimes. <laughs> but, like, yeah, as far as I know, it has only been, like, recently added, but, like, it's only there for, like, quite some time now, I think. It's not, I mean, so it's, it's recently added, but it's also not recently added, if you know what I mean, in terms of, like, the scale of Twitch. Like, it's just an added feature that's been out for quite some time, but it's also pretty interesting. Uh, okay, so we'll leave that there. We need this for the stuff we need to use it for. Uh, I'm gonna dedicate another shulker box to, you know, like, nether stuff, I guess, or probably more withers, maybe. I don't know. Put that over there. Alright, that's all good. Dump this over here. Don't need more pearls, and we don't really need these sticks for the meantime, so we can dump those real quick. And, uh, we can also dump some of the gunpowder here. Actually, I'm gonna use some of the gunpowder, because I'm kind of broke right now. There we go. That should be all good then. Alright, everything looks to be pretty much, hopefully, in order, because I don't know what else I'm forgetting. So, that should be all good. Uh, let's put this back over here, because we don't need to, like, use that anymore. Mm -hmm. 
Right, reorganize everything. My brain is currently, like, trying to focus on knowing where everything is so that way I can keep everything organized. So apologies if I get a bit quiet sometimes. But yeah, that looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. All right. Random Enderman. Okay, anyway. We should be pretty much good for, like, all of the, uh... All of the bedrock breaking that we will need to do for the rest of the stream, so hopefully nothing is gonna go terribly, terribly wrong. Scarlet says, how is my little Pablo? Pablo is doing pretty nice. Also, what do moments do? One, it gives you like a nice badge. Two, it also allows you to like see like important clips and stuff like that without having to search through, you know, the clips thing. It, it's pretty handy in so many ways. All right, we meet again, you stupid piece of freaking bloody like uh, junk or it's some, not really junk it's just really annoying to like deal with all right let's set this up again get those pistons set up uh, sorted out as always and let's move this over here so it doesn't interfere with anything all right so it should work you also need to add like a beacon <laughs> or else we're not gonna get like a full coverage of everything so let's go and see where it's going to be the most optimal position for that. Bring home the beacon. Haste 1. Only haste 1 because I don't need haste 2. Let's do a quick test. What do you mean it's not going to instantly break? I tested this. It should be able to instantly break, you frick. How the frick is it not going to instantly break? No. Okay, anyway. Ah, uh, we really need to get haste too, don't we? But I don't have a lot of iron. Ah, so I can't instantly break these yet. I don't know, okay, and let me go back to the testing arena. So, we tested this before, it works perfectly fine, so why is it not working again? This is haste, oh, this is haste too. Effect clear. So we grab that again. Effect give box DSD, haste. One. One hundred and one. Okay. This is haste two again. Okay, I need a effect clear. This should not be like the thing that keeps giving me stuff. Fox DST, yeah, haste. One hundred zero. Should be haste one. Yeah, this is normal haste. Okay, it has to be haste two. Mother bloody freaking Christ almighty. Okay. We need a lot of iron, which is the problem. I don't have a lot of iron, so that's what we need to do now, because we need more... We, we need we need more haste. Oh, God. Okay, we need, we need a lot of haste, and that is something that we do not have. We don't have... We, we're not rich. We're not rich enough to get that, some, that much haste. So we have two options. We can manually mine out, like, two and a half stacks of iron blocks. Which is equivalent to, if I do the math, of two and a half blocks, so that's 196? No. 164 plus 64 is 128. 128 plus 32 is 160. 160 times 9 is how much iron do we need to get? 1,440 iron. Which is approximately... Like 225 stacks of 22 and a half stacks of iron. So we need a lot of iron, and I don't have any idea where we can find an iron vein. So, yeah, that's gonna be interesting on how we can deal with that right now. So, I guess we're gonna do a little bit of spelunking while we're at it, since we're already here, I guess. <sighs> so, I thought this journey will be over, but no, this journey ain't over. All we have to do is find a find a freaking huge ass like iron vein, and we could technically get twenty two and a half like stacks of iron then, though it is gonna be pretty painful to like uh, find that, and also we don't want to like you know die, so I don't know what are the likelihoods of finding a vein that easily, but we'll see how it goes. I might as well go through like the cheaty route of like enabling like a certain like uh, shader pack, to, so that way I can see where all the ores are. I mean, is it cheaty? I mean, it actually is cheaty if it's like re, re if it makes it easier to find like uh, the stuff that you're looking for. But whatever, whatever. I I need to I need to find those things. Is it destroying my GPU right now? No, it's not destroying my GPU. Okay, that's good. All right. Um, I'm just gonna grab them via Silk Touch for the meantime, so that way I'll deal with the rest of the issues later on. 
There's so many mobs here, Jesus. Alright, anyway, just be in an orderly fashioned line, guys. I'm just here to steal all of you guys' iron. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just stealing your iron reserves. And that's basically it. Just don't mind me. Just don't mind me, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, don't uh, don't want to die. Still can't get over the last time. Oh no. But anyway, we should be fine though, because we're pretty much overpowered in some ways. Honestly, this is pretty cheaty, but at the same time, I am not going to suffer through like having to make an iron farm right now. I mean, I should make an iron farm, but right now would not be the greatest time. Because we're close to like uh, ending off the stream, so... Yeah, I'm just going to brute force it. I'm just going to brute force it, then add Fortune 3 to all of this later on. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's just quickly grab some of these. As long as there's no exploding pickle near me, then we should be fine. But there's a chance there might be an exploding pickle that's going to be right next to me. So, who knows? We might not be actually fine. Alright, anyway. Yeah, you guys just burn to death over there, just don't mind me. Just don't mind me whatsoever. I'm just here to, like, mine off stuff, because I'm a... I'm a Minecrafter, you know? That is a terrible freaking joke. Okay, never mind. Alright, get some gunpowder, because why not? Alright. There's a few more uh, iron veins here, but there's no sign of, like, um, those giant iron veins that you can easily find, like, somewhere in, like, some caves. I remember, like, playing on, like, an SMP where you're able to find, like, one of those, like, huge, like, copper or iron veins. I think it was an iron vein. And it was really, really cool to just mine through nothing but iron. So it was, like, really, like, nice to, like, just get plentiful amounts of iron from there. But yeah, it'll be really useful if we can utilize that for, like, I don't know, a freaking lay beacon. But no, we had to be a normie. Is this also like an underwater cave? Ooh, it is an underwater cave. Also some diamonds. Don't mind if I do, I guess, because why not? I might as well get some diamonds along the way. But anyway, that's pretty interesting. We have, a, we have respiration, so we can actually easily see what's going on. Also, Solter Minecraft, welcome to the Fox Squad with Prime Gaming. I appreciate the Prime Gaming sub, mate. Hope you're having a pretty nice day so far. Yeah, I feel like this is pretty cheaty, but also at the same time, I'm lazy as Frick, so I don't give a shite. Alright, let's just go and quickly get some air real quick. Do do do. But yeah, hope you're doing pretty nice so far, Solter Minecraft. Gives you like a stack of iron from like the big veins. It gives you way more than the stack. I can give you reassurance for that. Like, from my experience, it gives you so much iron, which is really useful in some uh, some early game stuff. Even late game stuff, if you're not yet working on an iron farm for, like, a beacon and all that stuff. But at the meantime, I'm not getting anything out of this yet. Alright, anyway. Is there anything else I can nab out of this cave system? Anyway, glad to hear you're doing pretty well so far, Salter. Appreciate the game, uh, Prime Gaming sub, though, mate. Appreciate it. So we found a geode that's not helpful. <laughs> I mean, it's nice, but also it's not helpful. I would prefer, like, um, getting some other stuff. Uh, this also ca this cave system also kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie, this this cave system is not really a great sort of experience that I've been getting right now. At least we're able to steal all the iron though. That's pretty handy. Yeah, uh, piss off, would you? Mm -mm. Get all the iron. Leave me alone. Okay, anyway. Yeah, there's like a few iron like pockets, but that's basically it. Just nothing but iron pockets. Not really much of like uh, anything else, really. Do you play with GUI mods? Not too much. I always try and like aim for like uh, sticking to vanilla, uh, vanilla as possible. Also, here's the outside world, by the way. It looks really pretty. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I don't usually use, like, other GUI mods or anything like that that manipulate stuff too much or add, like, storage space, because that would be a bit too whack. So I just aim to, like, just keep things vanilla as possible. Except for shaders, this is definitely cheaty. <laughs> just doing some more cheaties in sort of ways. Oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, the cave is more of, like, a big hole, which I agree. It's pretty much that, on honestly. That hole really needs to just piss off in some ways. But then again, I might utilize that for something else, which I'm not going to share just yet, but uh, I'll utilize it for something else. Alright, anyway, we have found a grand total of one stack and 14 pieces of iron. Which, which is just the ore, by the way, because we can easily add some fortune to this mess. 
And we should hopefully get a better yield out of this with uh, all of that then. Why do I have two bows? Okay, anyway, let's throw this away over here. Alright, I'll dump the diamonds somewhere for the meantime, because I'll deal with them later on. Alright, let me just quickly get Fortune 3. Place down all the iron that we've gotten so far and see how much we're going to yield out of that. At least we might as well smelt these while we're waiting for, like, uh, the sunset to, like, uh, go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Anyway, cave village. Maybe. Anyway, who doesn't like shaders, by the way, indeed. I like the complimentary shaders, though. It looks really, really nice. So those shaders are really, really nice to, like, look at. A bit intensive, but still really nice, though. Yeah, this is Fortune 3. And the rate of iron is going all over the place. We are getting a lot more duplicates, though, which is good to see. So at least we see Fortune doing its magic to, like, normal ores that don't usually do that before 1.18 became a thing. Or was it 1.17? I think it was, like, before 1.17. It used to be a pain in the arse to, like, get, like, more iron out of, like, uh, out of, like, ores and stuff like that. But nowadays, you can do that uh, with Fortune 3, thanks to uh, 1.17 being a thing. So, A. Hey, big Pog. Sometimes shaders make it harder to play. It really depends on what the shaders uh, you use, though. It is ideal that you don't use shaders all the time, but some shaders are pretty good for like playing, um, especially hardcore and stuff like that. But it's all around, it's all about like knowing which is the you know the right versions and also what uh, sort of like the right settings that you should tweak it as well. Because sometimes it gets pretty intensive in some ways. Some of the shader packs are pretty intensive. All right. Anyway. Let's go and fill these in with, uh, I mean, do I want to use blast furnaces? Eh, nah. I'm gonna be lazy and just use normal furnaces for the meantime. God, I really miss my, like, auto smelter. Then again, it was a pain in the arse to repair, so I don't really know if I miss it that much. Alright, that's the first batch of iron done. Let's go and look for some more. Let's see if there's any more holes that I've not, like, um, explored yet. That sounds very whack, but also, it's still, it's still relatively what we need to do anyways. Look for some more cave systems. Underwater cave systems will be also very helpful, but I don't think there is any left over. Alright, anyway. I'm gonna keep an eye out for, like, any more cave systems that might be useful to grab. Preferably nearby to spawn, because that'll be more convenient. But I'm seeing absolutely nothing. There's some small crevices and whatnot that's probably full of death, but yeah. Anyway, the old t t ore textures just remind me of like Xbox 360 Minecraft, I know. It actually has definitely grown on me with like the new like ore textures. Like, looking back in like old footage of me mining like older textured, um, textured like ores, it feels kind of off. And also feels kind of also whack that we've been able to live with like normal textures like that for such a long time. Like the, the revamp textures were really a nice sort of blessing for our eyes, I would say. Okay, this hole is absolutely useless. I swear to God. It is nice that the diamonds still have like the old textures as always, which is good. At least the diamonds haven't changed too much. All right, I need to look for some more stuff, but I don't see any more opens, like, openings or anything like that for us to exploit around through here, so this is making me a bit sad. Where the frick is the caves? Where are the big caves that I was looking for? Is the one that that is right next to spawn the only one that's big enough to, like, count as a big cave? Because I swear to God, if that's the case, I'm so freaking mad <laughs> at how disappointing it is. Alright, anyway. I'll just keep gliding around and see if there's anything interesting that we might want to take a look at. But so far, nothing too uh, interesting, unfortunately. Wait. Is this a big cave? Or is this just a very weird cave that is just very weird? It is a very weird cave, but hey, at least it is giving us something. Give me the gunpowder, by the way. Alright. Uh, we might die here, but hey, at least it's something. There's a few bits of diamonds here that we can grab, so that's always handy, I guess. Two vein, actually. That's also pretty neat. Don't normally get two veins on, like, surface, like, diamonds like that. Alright, anyway. Mm -hmm. 
We're just gonna nab as much iron as we can without dying, and then we should be pretty much good to go, I guess. Ow. Where else can I quickly nab some iron? What the frick are you doing there, skeleton? Thank you. Philza was probably will call this strategy of like us finding iron like this like a death trap. Like so. Because that can happen. Um, but at the same time, as long as you're careful, uh, <laughs> as long as you're careful and you're able to like uh, keep an eye out for like stuff or anything wacky and stuff like that, then usually would be fine. But yeah, it's always best to like, um, yeah, probably work on farms instead of doing whatever this is. <laughs> Anyway, also Nature of JMC, if that's how to pronounce your name still, or just Nature, welcome back. Hope your day's been doing pretty nice. Also, do you think that we were, sorry, if I answer the question, uh, do you think they were indecisive about changing the, uh, the diamond texture? I don't think they were indecisive. They would probably would know that, like, people were going to be outraged by, like, the amount of, like, texture changes and stuff like that. So they want to, like, keep something that's familiar at least. Because, you know, it makes sense to, like, um... Have people have a bit of like a transition between like different textures and all that stuff. So it's kind of nice or actually probably like intentional that they leave the um, diamond texture as it is just for the sake of like, you know, making sure everyone's not pissed all the time, you know. But eh, I also don't mind that, like leaving it as it is. There's a lot of lapis, which is interesting. Lots of like uh, normal ores around here. I should probably change the texture of the uh, redstone stuff because finding redstone ores because it has like a bit of like a disabled um, sort of texture on it is really hard to find um, those redstone ores so it probably would be ideal to like uh, definitely get like a new texture pack for uh, for those things. There's a few diamond deposits. I'm not really too intrigued in like getting all the diamonds though so I'm just going to focus on finding more iron deposits. If there is more that I can find, because they really are hard to find nowadays. Alright. Nice pit. Nice sources of gunpowder, though. Don't mind that. Hmm. Still don't see any sign of, like, uh... Some sort of, like, a vein yet. If there's, like, a sign of, like, an, like an iron, like, a vein of some kind... Then it should be very obvious, but I don't see anything. Which is worrying. Um, nice mine shaft though. Just stretching all over the place. So that's that. Ooh, spawner. What type of spawner is it? It is it, of course a zombie spawner and it gives me absolutely nothing. Oh, thank you very much game. I appreciate you guys giving me absolutely nothing inside the spawner of this dungeon. I appreciate that. Alright, anyway. Again, th this game has a love-hate relationship with me, I swear to god. Alright, see you later then, Misty. Hope you have a good rest then, mate. And, um... If they change the creeper, uh, ch change the creeper, like, uh, generation of something... I mean, I highly doubt they would. <laughs> then you probably would be very mad, I would say. I mean, I don't think, yeah, I don't think the creeper, like, any mob, like, uh, changes to, like, uh, spawning and stuff like that would happen that much. And if they would, it would probably be very minor, for probably, like, a balancing reasons. Alright, let's get out of here. At least we're not wasting torches having to explore the entire place, but it would probably be ideal to place down some torches everywhere, so that way we don't get killed by mobs. Then again, we if you've seen me already, like, like, I grind through, like, Wither Skeletons, you know that I just don't give a shite. <laughs> about anything, honestly. Alright, some more iron over here. Mm -mm -mm. There is a few iron deposits, but no sign of, like, uh... Still no sign yet of, like, any sort of, like, vein. Yeah, you think you can, like, throw in, like, some stuff at me, huh? Well, too bad, you're now dead. Alright, that's just a normal surface area then. Still in the deep slate levels around Y0. Still feels weird that we're able to like get down to Y0 from like the surface very very easily nowadays. I have absolutely no idea, Salter. I have no idea what would I want to add to Minecraft if I ever wanted to. 
There really isn't, honestly, like, any major ideas that I want to add to, like, uh, Minecraft. There probably is, like, a lot of ideas that people already said earlier, so... Mm, it's whatever. Alright. Have I looted through here just, uh, already? Or am I just, like, just entering this area for the first time? Because I cannot tell. <laughs> I cannot tell by the size of this bloody cave. It's nice and big. But as that's also kind of a drawback, is that you don't know if you've been to, like, an area here or not. But... Still, though, it's pretty nice and big. Mm. Alright, I do need some more gunpowder, so creepers, you can now die, please. Thank you. Need all the gunpowder that you're willing to give me. I think it's becoming more and more rare to find, like, um... Like, a normal, like, a stony, like, diamond ores nowadays. I think it's still possible to find them, but they're much more rare because of, like, the way that they're, like, generated in. It also would make it very valuable if you're able to find it as, like, a silk-touched ore of some kind, maybe. But yeah, that's still pretty interesting. Hmm, I see some clouds earlier. here. Alright, an underwater portion over here. What's over here? Is it nothing but disappointment? Is it gonna be nothing but disappointment? Eh, it's almost gonna be disappointment, isn't it? Okay. Not bad. I would add banana, and Mike would add some whales. Not bad choices. Do you use a laptop or a PC to stream? I always use a lot uh, not a laptop. I always use a PC to stream. Because I think using a laptop would be a little bit more chaotic to uh, handle and sort out. But still, nothing wrong with streaming or using a laptop, but usually it has to be pretty beefy. So I always prefer using a desktop for that. I don't want you to explode anytime soon. You're redstone. Don't mind if I grab that for free. Ow. Okay, you mind your fight somewhere else while I just, like, continue looting your entire, uh, entire area here? Thanks. Just don't mind me. Oh, frick off, you stupid fills of baby zombie. I mean, you're not golden armor, but still, frick off. Alright, there we go. Get some more stuff around through here. Yeah, I'm not seeing any signs of, like, uh... Like a vein of some kind, which is, yeah, disappointing. What's over here, though? Just some more shallow areas. Mm -hmm. This is a nice sort of calm, <laughs> sort of like uh, Minecraft stream, I would say. I mean, we're under like a lot of like anxiety because we're in a cave system that might be full of death, but hey, it's somewhat calm. And this also leads to almost a dead end. Oh, it is going to lead us to a dead end. Oh! Underwater cave pog? Nope, this is a, a still disappointment. Okay. This is still an absolute disappointment. Why? Why do you want to do this to us, game? I thought you were friendly to us. Actually, no, you, you, you still have a love-hate relationship with me, so... That would make sense. If they remove copper, then it would just kind of be kind of weird. Uh, not because I like copper has any major use with, uses still to this very day, but like, like they able to like implement like a, the ore system to the game, but do almost nothing about it, and then they just they just decide to remove it. It'll just seem kind of weird to like do that sort of move. But who knows? Who knows if that might happen or not? Yeah, this cave system underwater is pretty uh, terrible. But at least I see some kelp, so we can easily get back from, like, uh, the surface pretty easily. And it's nighttime, Which means that everything is probably gonna kill us once we go back to the surface. So let's see what we can find down over here. Ooh. Underwater cave system, I see. That's pretty neat. Alright, anyway. Mm -mm -mm. How much ore do we have? We have a lot of redstone, which is useful, but also I don't know we have like a lot of other materials that we might also need. Got some more iron deposits here we can grab. Some more coal over here. There's some zombies nearby. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like.
like actually see the Spotify thing so I know which track is playing. And that's why I memorized it. It's the seventh movement, so that's the last track you would usually listen to. Got some more ores over here. Ooh! Covered like another uh, empty area over here, which is pretty interesting. Hopefully it's not full of like death, but hey, there's a lot of like iron I can grab. I'm like, okay, so we have like roughly around two stacks of iron already acquired. Interesting aquifer. What's your favorite console? I have actually no idea. I mean, I've owned like a lot of retro game consoles, so it's actually kind of hard to like decide which is a favorite console of mine. I would probably guess like the 2000 era GameCube and like Dreamcast, maybe. Those two are pretty interesting consoles. But yeah, I don't, I don't know about like modern <laughs> modern consoles though. I don't know what I mean. I know about modern cons consoles, but I don't know which one what I would choose. There's like a lot of interesting sort of varieties back but back in the pre like 2000s when it comes to like choosing like what console do you want to play and stuff like that. Kind of feels weird, but nowadays it's just always like two choices: either Sony or like um, freaking like Microsoft's Xbox. So it's just always these two choices nowadays. Unless you go for Nintendo, but then the Nintendo Switch is really showing their age quite a lot. So I really hope Nintendo would actually update it at some point, if they even care about that. Alright, there's another opening over here. But yeah, I don't think I see anything else that might be valuable. Also, thank you for the Dolphin's Grace, though. Is there anything else that I missed around here? Don't know. Might as well grab all the surface iron that I can get, though. Might as well grab them. Mm. What the hell is down over there? What the hell did I just uncover? In our cave system. Hmm, interesting. See some creepers over here, so we got some more sources of gunpowder, though. At least we're not flying all over the place, so at least we're not wasting a lot of uh, fireworks for all of this. So I'm actually kind of happy with that. Oh, that was going to be more risky because, you know, creepers are exploding boys. Where's that boy? There's that boy. Hey. All right. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, there we go. There we get some more gunpowder. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. So far, so good. Got some more iron stuff over here. It's currently raining right now. You can clear by. Can, can tell by the puddles, even though it's like currently we're stuck inside a cave at the moment. But it is apparently raining, so that's interesting. Anyway, Game Pass is goaded, I agree. It honestly makes no sense if you're trying to buy like an Xbox and not use Game Pass. Because pretty much you're like now on like a monthly subscription to play games that are like I don't know, like three times the price for each one and stuff like that, so and you're also gonna get like new games coming in and out and all that stuff, so that's just honestly like a pretty good value for like a lot of people playing on like consoles and all that stuff. Like I use Game Pass, using like a very finicky technique to make sure I have like a yearly subscription without paying so much and stuff like that, but it also is a pretty good value though. So it definitely is uh, worth it about that. PS Play unfortunately doesn't really have that much like um What's the word? Uh, I mean, it has like a few exclusives, I guess, but at the same time, it doesn't really offer the same value as compared to like the uh, Game Pass version, which is, I mean, it, it's probably needed for like a nicer amount of competition, the uh, console space, but at the same time, it's, I wouldn't really have, see it like having like a lot of value just yet, but they might, Sony might actually do some stuff later on in the future about that maybe, but who knows? Who knows? Things might change. Alright, anyway, let's take a look around through here. Got some more Cooper boys over there just vibing. A few more iron deposits that I've missed. But yeah, there really isn't that much interesting stuff around this cave, though. Not much deep, but at least we got a lot more iron out of it. But still, not really too amazing. Mm -hmm. Alright, there we go. To be fair, both the P uh, PS5 and like the Xbox have like very good graphics. I mean, they're supposed to be the next-gen consoles anyway, so 
If they did not have any good graphics, that would be very, very whack. Why is on me, villager? You're useless, so unfortunately you need to die, but... Hope you're doing okay. <laughs> I mean, he's probably now dead, so... Mm, that's kind of a shame. Okay, so this is what we call a big-ass cave. If I disable the shaders right now, you can tell by how... <laughs> by the size of it, this is what I call a big-ass cave. Now, is there anything good in this big-ass cave? I don't know. And that's the thing that we need to evaluate, because even though it's a big-ass cave, is it a good big-ass cave? I don't freaking know. Then again, I don't see any, like, like a skulk, um, sort of related biomes, so... That's also not really a good thing either, because it'll be nice to find, like, a ancient city nearby. And at least there's a minecart there, so there might be something valuable. But still, not bad, not bad find. Alright, there's just a huge, like, other cave over here, which is pretty, uh, interesting. That's a little bit of a heads up, an incoming ad break coming up again. There's a little bit of a heads up over there. God, the music really fits well with the ambiance of this place. And then again, it's Final Fantasy, so... Makes sense. Oh, thanks for, like, dying. Thank you very much, uh... Um, like, uh, Creeper for that. Alright. These are all poison spiders, I believe? Yep. Leave me alone. I'm trying not to die to these freaking arachnid fricks. Alright, I just, I just wanted to, like, take a look at the, uh... The minecart, please. Okay, um, nothing useful, but... Hey, at least we got some more torches. Ow! Frick off. Okay, you guys are really trying to be annoying. Die. Thank you. Right, as we get more and more deeper, it actually gets much more harder to find, like, a lot more, like, um... ores that we're looking for. So it actually isn't good practice to stay down here. Here comes the ad break, though. Alright, break all that. Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna get some redstone while we're at it, so that way we don't have to run out of like supplies here. Always pretty handy. For being a big cave, this is completely freaking empty of, like, anything valuable. Which is a bit of a shame. Uh, let's see. Ooh, ruined portal here, though. That's pretty cool. And also useless, but still, pretty cool. Mm. Do you have any streamer friends? A uh, few. I usually, like, some try and, like, keep in touch with them sometimes, so... That's all I can really say about that. Alright, let's see here. Uh, there's another aquifer over here, so that's pretty neat. Is there anything of value that I can grab from this place? Because there isn't really... Despite it being a big-ass cave, there actually isn't that many diamonds or any diamonds at all I've seen. So nothing valuable. But there is like a lot of iron stuff that we can grab. So, I guess that's cool. Will you ever do a, like, a collab stream or some kind? Uh, maybe in the future, but I have honestly have no idea. So who knows? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But it's all really just down to, like, the chemistry of, like, uh, you know, streamers. Because when it comes to, like, collabs, it's always important to always have, like, good, like, chemistry between, like, uh, people that you want to collab with. It wouldn't really make any sense to, like, do a stream collab with people that you just don't really vibe well with. Anyway. Uh, human thing 24-7, welcome to the Fox Army. Hope your day's been doing pretty nice so far, mate. Alright, you should all freaking perish. Stupid blade mobs. I mean, they're not stupid, but they really are just annoying. Thank you. Have I checked around through here yet? I don't think I have. I want to get lost anyway, because I'm trying to look for more iron sources. Oh, you have thorns, huh? You think the thorns are going to stop me? Anyway, throw that away, throw that away, throw that away, throw that away, and probably throw that away. I don't really care about, like, uh, mob drops yet. Uh, climb up like that. Give me all your iron supplies. Because I don't have an iron farm yet, and I'm too lazy to get one right now. Or build one right now, so... Mm. Okay. Is this even promising? I see more mine shafts, but nothing else. 
So I have zero hope that there will be anything promising around here. Ooh, minecart. Okay, a little bit of promisingness. But still, nothing too much promising around here. Alright, anyway. Yeah, there really isn't that much in interesting stuff around here, which is uh, eh, not really much of a shame. I really expected that. Alright. Can I grab that? Thank you. Alright. Is there anything down over here, though? Nope. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Not even a single ounce of, like, uh, Skulk stuff, either, so... That was definitely not a huge waste of time. Have you played Geometry Dash? Yeah, sometime in, like, the past I played a bit of, like, Geometry Dash. I'm not really a big, avid, like, fan of it, though. I can see the appeal of it, but also it's kind of infuriating. Uh, but other than that, uh, I did play, like, a few bits of it uh, before. This, like, low lichen's pretty helpful, like, uh, keeping an eye out for things. Or keeping things a little bit nice and, like, uh, illuminated. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Can look around the uh, the big boy. See if there's anything interesting that I've missed. There's a lot of iron deposits, though. No sign of a vein. If there's a vein, there will be a, like a certain type of stone that's nearby, and there also would be a crap ton of iron all over the place. But these do not really indicate to me a sign of an iron vein yet. So, yeah, that's not helpful. That's not really helpful at all. Alright, anyway. There's a few more bits of stuff around here. The music really vibes pretty well with this entire area. Mm hmm. There's a lot of smaller caves around here. Which really, I guess makes sense for like a big cave like this. There always would be like a small deposit of like other caves nearby. Oh, not deposit, but like other like uh, veins of other caves that will be lurking nearby. Alright, what other areas have I not been to? Jesus Christ. That was a freaking gorge. Ow. Alright, anyway. <laughs> what a very well hidden gorge, but at least I didn't die to that. What type of bow do you have? That is painful. That's a really painful freaking bloody bow, I would say. Mr. Skeleton Bones. Okay, anyway. Anyway, nothing really too um, interesting around here, so that's okay, I guess. Yeah, nothing really too much that I missed. Already looted that ruined portal, so pretty much everything is just already, like, um, stuff already seen already. Nothing too valuable, which is kind of a shame. Alright, grab the rest of that, and we fly ourselves out of here. Somewhere, I guess. Oh, there's a few bits of iron here. You can die. Thank you very much. Why are there so many spiders here? Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna mine off all this iron. Because I need a lot of iron. Of course. Because I don't have an iron farm. You can all die, thank you. Mm -hmm. How's our inventory looking? So we have roughly around like a few stacks of iron, which is good. Doubt that's gonna be enough though for us to get like our full beacon, so... Yeah, I really miss having like um... Like my iron farm again back in season six. I definitely will need to figure out how to work. I definitely will need to figure out how to make another one again there in the future. Um, but we'll have to do that for like a separate stream again. All right. Mm -hmm. Grab the rest of these. God damn it! There's so much bloody like iron here that I want to like mine. I wish there was a vein so that way I can get so many stacks of iron from there, but no. No, this game really refuses to give me anything that's like one point worthy of like 1.18 stuff. How much for the Caves and Cliffs update? Alright, anyway. Anyway, Blizo underscore RL says, Hello Fox, new series. Sorry, I haven't been on stream for so long. I've been oving. Or mo moving, I presume. Which hopefully, hopefully that's been going pretty well so far. But hey, hope you're doing pretty nice so far, uh, Blazo. Hope your day's been doing all right. Okay, the freaking water reflections are actually like tripping me off to know if there's any like additional ores or not. So I need to be very careful about that as well. 
Alright, how much ore do I have and why is my inventory full of junk? So we have... Well over like three stacks. Whether it, it that is enough or not is something I do not know <laughs> in terms of like knowing this is enough uh, stuff we need for like our um, beacon or not. So that's not helpful. That is definitely not going to be helpful for us. Die, please. I don't even know how I'm going to turn this into a highlight. I would just have to do like a huge montage of me looking for iron and then just finding almost absolutely nothing valuable um, elsewhere. But who knows. I keep pressing caps lock by accident. Hmm. Anyway, hope you're doing pretty nice so far, though. Alright, so let's see how the frick do we leave this place. Because this place is pretty big and also pretty vast. How did we even get here in the first place? I think it was like through like a sort of like a aquifer of some kind. Because we went through underwater and now we found like this huge open like air area that we haven't been to before. So, hmm. No idea where do we need to head off in order to like get ourselves to uh, get get ourselves home, I guess. But let's try and just pick a corner and just get up from there. The good old trusty UHD method of just um, just mining upwards until you reach the surface. You know what could possibly go wrong while doing this? Gravel? Uh, sure, yeah, gravel. That might actually cause problems. All right. Ooh, more iron. Don't mind if I do. The one time where I really need so much iron is when I need to make a maxed out freaking beacon. Well, I don't think we actually need to make a maxed out beacon, I think. I think? I don't think we need to really work on like a maxed out beacon and it just has to be high enough, I think? I could be wrong. Let me just double check on like, the, I don't really need to worry about like having a huge maxed out beacon, but just to make sure that I'm not insane, I don't think we need to uh, deal with that. Technic says I got 100 bits and I don't know what to do, lol. I mean, you can give it to a streamer or something like that, but that's all up to you. Um, I... this does not help me. Why the frick is this... Level 2, level 3, level 4 can enable all buffs. Okay. Where's the menu power? So, if I want to, like, get... Ourselves a secondary. Pa okay, it has to be a maxed out beacon. God freaking damn it! So okay, we have to. We actually have to make a maxed out beacon, or else we're screwed. Great, great, great. Thank you very much, game, for that. All right, all right. So we have a total of roughly about four, five stacks of iron. So that we have right now. So we'll see how that goes. I guess we're pretty far away from spawn, actually. Jesus. Anyway, they went to ten bits though. Technic. I don't know what I'm doing. You're just sending bits off to some guy doing the streaming thing. The, the streaming thing. I cannot speak anymore. My brain's gonna die. But hey, big pog though. Uh, Blazo says, uh, how did you die in the other series? You can do exclamation mark S6. And that will give you the, the great clip of me dying to me being stupid. I, I would say I'll, I died to my own stupidity. That's the best way of describing how I lost that hardcore world. Are these things still cooking? It looks to be pretty much done, so that's nice. Alright. I guess I'm probably gonna call it for today, I guess. Not tonight, but just pretty much today. Because pretty much I have like all these things already set up and <laughs> I'm tempted to put the iron into there and let it smelt, but that'll be very inefficient. Kill rabbits and squirrels. Don't kill me. Yeah, I'm not gonna quick kill like some random squirrels that aren't like a food source yet. But yeah, you're fine, you're fine, don't worry about that. Maybe. Anyway. <laughs> It'll be fine, don't worry. It'll be fine, I guess. Maybe. Who knows? And anyway, I'm gonna call it for like today though, because I need to get some rest and also not lose my mind on like other things. And I, yeah, I still need to finish off like some other b pieces of work that I need to do. But in the meantime, we got like a lot of like nice materials that we can uh, soon smelt or turn to fortune real quick and then smelt later on. And hopefully, it's, um, we'll be good with, like, our iron supply for, uh, us to break through the nether roof later in the future. This is so much work just to break through the freaking nether roof, I swear to god. Anyway, <coughs> before my throat starts to die and I lose my sanity, I'm gonna get some rest. So, if you guys want to see more of these wacky streams, I highly recommend you join the very wacky Discord server. So that way you get notified immediately when the next stream goes live next time. Can you, you can turn off shaders, I like that, says Angel Equals. That's why you use Iris. Iris is a really nice sort of mod on fabric that allows you to open shaders. 
Is there any bits goal? If I get 50 bits, I get a sheep named after me, or is this money is a waste? Well, you're not going to get a sheep named after you if you give 50 bits, or send 50 bits, because anyone could actually do that, so... Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, I'll get some rest now, so be sure to join the Vitary Wacky Discord server, so that way you get notified immediately when the next stream goes live. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow around this same time, and we'll keep doing the good old hardcore thing of mining more iron in order to make a freaking beacon, because that's how broke we are still. So we'll, we'll still need to, like, uh, get ourselves to sort out in terms of, like, getting iron. And we might also make an iron farm later in the future. But anyway, to all the VOD viewers, join the Wacky Discord server if you haven't yet. Insert outro here. I have no idea how to make an outro for the VOD viewers. 